Good morning. Isn't he lovely? Isn't he just adorable? Uh, Joe's here today. Oh, Joe's here today. It's not me falling over, it's the table. It's the table's wobbling. Uh, so we're going to be doing with Joe. At, oh, actually, have a look at the menu, because we've got the menu today. I don't have to tell you, do I? We can have a look at the menu. Here it is. Uh, coming up today, we've got Marvellous Makes. We've got a, a Robot Softy at 8 o'clock. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got John's Nature Trail. We've got John's Nature Trail at 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock, we've got that Half Moon Quit, which I'll tell you all about in a minute. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got Simple Make for Girl, Makes for Girls. Are you coming to do that one then, Joe? No? That's, I don't, we don't know who's doing that one. Anyway, this is coming up now, right now, but I had to show you this, first of all. We've had it in before. They sold out. They did a two-hour special, if you remember. It was Natasha and Joe. Did a two-hour special. Now, that's just the backing. That is just the backing of this gorgeous K-Facet Half Moon Quilt. Now, what we're doing... Have a look. Have a look at the full version. We haven't got it here. There. Look at that. Now, what you get in that kit is all the fabric to make it. You get the wadding and you get the backing. That's the back. That's the backing. That's the backing. How fabulous is that? Anyway, anyway, that's at 10 o'clock. That's at 10 o'clock. But before then, we want you to get in touch. We want you to be interactive. We want you to enjoy the show as much as we enjoy it. So the best way to get uh, involved is you go to the website, you see there, then you click on watch today's show. Uh, once you've done that, they've done that already, they get a bigger version of me there. Then scroll down the screen and you see there, message the studio. What you do, oh, you have to log in or create an account. Uh, so you can, uh, normally, once you've logged in, there's a little pinkish box there. You just write your message. Please be aware that it is limited characters, so don't make it too long, because otherwise I'll lose half your me message. Or, of course, you can email studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com. While we're on the website, just have a look there where it says products from today's show. They're all the, they, everything I had from yesterday's show. Uh, in a minute, they will all disappear. And all the pieces, the notions, the fabrics, the kits, everything from today's show will then appear on there as well. So uh, that's, uh, but what you need to do is click on it and put it in your basket. And then you go to the top of the page, right next to where I am um, talking to, oh, talking to you. You see there, now, that Made With Love ribbon I had yesterday. When we're doing a live sale, a live auction, that, what, what I'm showing you will appear on that right-hand side, left-hand side? That side, anyway. Uh, right, left-hand side, is it? Right-hand right side. But is it my left? Anyway, uh, right-hand side as you're watching it. Uh, it'll appear there. All you do is you click on log in. Oh, you have to log in to buy. You click on the... And it goes to your basket, but make sure you check out your basket because um, we had people missing out so many times yesterday. Right? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, we love this. We lo oh, hello, by the way. Oh, good morning. <laughs> oh, good morning, morning, morning. Uh, we love this. We absolutely love this. I've uh, got three different uh, versions of it. The oh! Right, well, I've only got three. That's a good start. There were only three kits on the trolley. Three different versions there. Might be four in a minute. There might be a fourth one in a minute. Um, we've got this one that this one's made out of. We've got the one that you're about to make it out of. We've got another one there with, like, um, what do they call... What are they called? The, the, um, that's like a, what's that board? Circuit board. Circuit board thing. There you go. They're the three. They're the three I've got, you see. The one you're seeing the graphics for at the moment is that one there, which is the one it's already made out of. Oh. Hang on a s Oh, I haven't got that one. I haven't got that one. Right, OK. I, I haven't got that one. So uh, in a minute, I'll get it. I'll get it. It is there somewhere, apparently. It is there somewhere. That's a good start to the show, isn't it? I've got that one. Uh, let's show you the other three, though. I've, I've got uh, three other kits. We saw that one yesterday, the one with the white letters, because we thought you were doing that one, didn't we, yesterday? But I don't know where it is. So this is the one that Joe's making. This is the, now, there's no zip on that one at the moment, because Joe's had to nick the zip. If you make that one, you, have to, you get a white zip. You get a white zip. Oh, yeah, I'll put, it in, I'll put it in vision now. Until you need it, I'll put it there. So that one there is the blue robot softy kit, 29.95. Uh, I'll go through it all in a second with you. Uh, then we've got uh, this one here, which is one Joe's already made it out of. And that one is called... Galaxy Cream, for some reason. I don't know who thinks these names up, I don't know. It's not cream. There's nothing cream about it whatsoever. Your fabric's white and your fa other fabrics are white. That's why I thought that one was the white one. And then there's this one, which I haven't seen at all, which is gorgeous, which is a what? 
Circuit board. Circuit board. Circuit board print with yellow, black and white. And, but what you get in the kit, we, I'll show you the stills later, but you get the zip, the eyes, you get the, the um, embroidery, you get the thread. There's, there's the still for that one. There's the still for that one. And you get the wadding and you get the instructions. All for tw everything you need for £29.95. That's the circuit board one. And then Amy's going to find you the fourth one now. So we better get started. Okay. We better get started, didn't we? I'll just push those to one side. Now, would you say beginner, intermediate or difficult? I would say... Confident beginner to intermediate. There, there aren't, well, apart from this at the top, that's the only curve, I think, and around here. Oh, OK. They're, they're the only curves in it, I think. Which... I've got the wrong shirt. I should have worn a plain shirt, really, should I? But let me sit him in there in the middle of the bit. OK, right, so, so you, get, you get, it is absolutely brilliant, as, as all your, um, well, it's not an animal, is it? You normally do animals, <laughs> don't you? It's called Digital Love, uh, the whole, and then look at, the, look at these instructions. Everything you need to know, everything you need to know about how to cut it out, how to make it, templates. Now, have these got uh, um, a seam allowance? Seam allowance yes, yeah, they, they will have. have. Brilliant. All your patterns, all your templates, everything you need there. Right, uh, let's get going, let's get going. Uh, morning, John and Joe. Love it when you two are together. I love Joe's soft toys too. Love, love Nora. Thank you, Nora, Thank my you. lovely. Right, OK. Right, let's start, let's start, let's start. Okay. At the very beginning. Now, I, oh, I'm going to interrupt you. I didn't know you started. <laughs> I will shut up, I promise. Um, when you do an animal, mm -hmm. you do the ears, the legs, you do all the components first. Is this one the same? Yes, I will do the same with this one. I'll prepare the face first, so add the eye panel and the zip. OK. And then do the legs and the arms. And You're all right. You sound a bit croaky. A bit croaky then, <laughs> she hasn't spoken yet this morning, <laughs> obviously. OK, let's get going then. Let's get going. Now, the eye patch is just a piece of white. Now, you can fix it on to the face piece. Yes. Either by using iron-on adhesive, so bonder web, or for this one, just as an alternative, I've used some um, iron-on interfacing. Oh, OK. Just to support it. But because if I was using bonder web, I'd just oh, stuck to it. Um, straight stitch around right. the outside yes. a couple of times. But with this having interfacing, I'm going to zigzag around. Oh, OK, brilliant. But with the bond web, if you're not, it, it sticks, it'll stick it to... The it bond sticks. web, you can fuse it straight yes, to the piece, so on, yes. then it's not going to shift around. Yeah. I mean, this creates some friction, so it won't... Yeah. Once I put it in position, it shouldn't move too much. OK, now what's that piece of greaseproof paper you just picked up there? This is my pattern piece for the face. Right. And on the pattern template in the booklet, it will have a mark on it, right, it's visible, okay. for the positioning, the placement of the eye panel. OK. So I've put that there, that's pretty much in place. So that's where it should be, so I'm just going to... I'll stitch around with straight stitch once and then zigzag around the edge. OK, quickly. brilliant. Just to get that done. So you're not going to pin it or anything? Should I pin it? No, no, no. You can. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, Jo doesn't normally pin things, but <laughs> the last week she's been pinning, you see. And yesterday you had loads of pins in it I did, yesterday. I did. No, I'm not much of a pinner normally. So now you're just stitching round the outside. Looks like you've got a mini zigzag on there. I have got a mini zigzag on there. That's, That's because I've been nice. playing around with the machine oh. before we came on air. It, this won't be visible. Though. We haven't got Jay to, to we haven't got Jay to shout at today, either. <laughs> I was always messing around with the stitch. The is the zigzag coming in later? Then? It is. It is. But you won't see this stitch particularly because I'm going to zigzag over it. So. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just holding it in place then. Yes, just before, because uh, zigzagging is slightly more difficult than the. Straight stitch. Right, so I'm back to the beginning, so I'll pop it onto a zigzag. So you straight stitch it first, then you zigzag it? Yes. But if you bondine, bonder webbed it on, I keep saying bondina because that was the name of it in the old days. Um, if you bonder webbed it on, you could just machine it, zigzag it on straight away, couldn't you? You could. I've got a bonder web here if you want to buy some. Now, uh, remember, this sheet, it's, uh, it's something like one and a half metres, but it's only 1.2 metres, but it's only 17 and a half centimetres wide, so it's a long strip of the double-sided bonder web there for £2.95. Brilliant. 
Right, the most popular out of the three kits I've got so far is... This one! Oh, we haven't got that one. Where is it? It's definitely there, because I saw it yesterday. I definitely saw it yesterday, because I said to Joe, is this the one you're making tomorrow? And she went, no, not the white background with the letters. It's the one with the blue background and the letters that I'm at numbers. Please check out, though. Please check out. Do you know what happens in Joe's shows? They all sell out before the end of the show. Well, well before the end of the show. I would thread these threads through to the back. Oh, OK. But I'm just going to snip them off now for the sake of time. And I've not done the neatest job. Uh, that, just, but... just, they're just looking for this um, kit. It's not in here, because I thought brought the three boxes in here to unpack them. So it must be. Oh, you found it. They found it. They found it. Ooh. Right, what do you need? The zip, please. Oh, spoil my Sorry. design. What it is, is what, with the one that Joe's making, you get the white, the white zip. And we... There we go. And the zip goes just below the mouth. I will OK, go. now, it goes just below her. No, it doesn't go just below the mouth, because it is the mouth. Yes. It goes just below the eyes. Somebody texted in yesterday saying, I bet you wish John had a zip mouth like that, Joe, so you could... Yes, I know. How very <laughs> dare so they. rude. It was Andrew and Hillary. <laughs> right, OK, so now this is important, because you on the actual... On the actual... Um, does it open? And shut. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. You've got the... You've got the um, all my words aren't coming out today, are they? We're not doing a very good job today. <laughs> uh, do you not need to line that up with the... No, because this is the easiest zip to ever put in because oh, okay. it doesn't actually do anything, so you can just put it generally in the right place. And then before we sew the face on those, you just move the tab to, oh, the, to the middle. Okay. Oh, these I see. Are get, I see, yeah. So it's not actually opening anything yes. apart from itself. So. Okay. So I've pinned it in place. I'm I'll just, just going You to carry on doing that. I'll just help stitch. Amy here because she's in a, having a bit of a field day. There's a zip missing off that one, Amy, then. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just setting this one up so it's all ready for you to go through. Um, there's a... Yeah, we just need the other zip for the last one, that's all. Back now, back now. Right, uh, what's Joe's... Uh, so, right, hang on, where are you... So you're not even doing it with zipper foot? Because I'm sewing right near the edge. Yeah. I'm oh, not, I'm not so you're even not putting it in, like, a normal zip, so you, obviously, yes. Because the... Closer to the edge, you get more of a... So An opening. A mouth. I'll just move this onto uh, make sure that's not caught. So you get a bit more of a mouth the closer uh, to the edge. Brilliant. You sew it. So it really is, if you're terrified of zips. This, Which I am, I hate zips, yeah. This is really easy. No need for a zipper foot. It doesn't need to be positioned perfectly yeah. because of the excess. But it's got the metal teeth to give yes. it more of a robot-y yeah, sort course. of feel. So that's the face. Pretty much sorted. If it was a, with, because it, it's a metal tooth zip, I will just leave these um, excess excess inside. They'll just okay. be held inside the head later. Right. Save trying to clip them down. Right. So before we move on to the next, before we move on to the next, we've now got all four kits. So you can have a look at all four kits here. We'll go through them one at a time, just so you can see what's available, because they are selling incredibly quickly. Just to warn you, and um, I, you know, it's going to be one of those shows where I go, this one sold out, this one sold out. So which one would you like to go to first? So this one first. Um, this is lovely. This is the one you haven't seen. This one has got the uh, circuit block, no, circuit board fabric as your main fabric. So you get half a metre of that. You get half a metre of the yellow, half a metre of the white, and half a metre of the navy blue. Lots of people got this one in the basket. You get the blue zip, you get the eyes, you get the embroidery thread, you get the padding, the stuffing, and the full instructions, and all the full instructions there. All for twenty nine ninety five. So you get everything. You don't need to have anything else at all to do this one. So that's the first one. Then the next one is the, this one, the one that this one's made out of. Are they calling it red, that one? Oh, that's what little Paul's calling it. They're calling it ivory, I think, this one. Or, or cream, aren't they calling this one? There you go. Cream, they're calling it. There's no cream anywhere. You get half a metre of the robot fabric, half a metre of the bright orange, half a metre of the white, half a metre of the blue. Then you get the embroidery thread, the two reels of thread, the zip, the eyes, the instructions, and the padding, the wadding. Shown the still? Oh, no. Yeah. Just show you the still. There you go. That's everything you get there. 
everything you get for £29.95. That's the one that Joe's already used. Then we're moving on to the one that she's uh, making now. Uh, now you do, I'll show you the, the seal in a minute, but you do get the zip. So you get the numbers on the navy, you get yellow, green and white fabric, you get two reels of thread, the embroidery thread, the eyes, the instructions and the padding, all of that, plus the instructions for £29.95. And, and then last, but and the, the, the zip, of course, but we've used the zip already on there. And then this one you haven't seen yet, this is the one you haven't seen yet. This is numbers on white. And then you've got the navy blue, the orange and the white there with the two threads, the embroidery. You do get a zip. Let me put... It's, now, is it a blue zip on this one you get? I think it's, it's a blue, blue zip. zip on that one. There you go. So you get the blue zip, the eyes and the instructions and the padding for £29.95. You get an awful lot. Awful lot there. Right, let's move on because there's lots to do and we're, we're 17 minutes into the show already. Next. Next, I'm going to do the aerial that goes on top. Oh, OK. Now, when I designed the pattern... And Originally, the fabric I used was fleece, so when it was turned right way out, the seam allowance was quite bulky because it was a fleecy fabric, right. so that would sort of fill out the inside of the aerial. Now, with that one, I popped a little bit of... Was, um, this, was this fleecy? Was that the fleecy that, one? That was then? the fleece. fleece one. Okay, then. But so you, you're going to make it and stuff it a little so bit, So I'm eh? going to pop on, on that one, just so it definitely stands up yes. yeah. like an aerial would. I popped yes. a bit of filling in that one. Now, uh, you're doing everything with the navy blue thread, but of course you get the two different threads in there anyway, don't you? So in this kit, you'd get the navy blue and you get the green one in this kit. It's just easier. I'm sticking with the navy. It's yes. easier to see where I'm up to. Right, please, please, please do not risk missing out. This always happens on Joe's shows. Lots of people put them in the basket and then it comes time to check out and there's more people with it in their basket. Um, that's not what we're making at the moment. That's the aerial. Uh, remember, I've got limited stock on all of these. But I'd say limited, it's not limited. Can I just say, right, they're saying to me, Dummy, oh, it's limited. It's not limited. What happens is you just sell shed loads, that's all. So it's not limited, but what it is, is it will be limited because so many people are putting it in their baskets, that's all. Um, so on, on this, we did the aerial first and the, uh, aerial, yeah, and the face. All the instructions are there. So we've done... This is where we are so far. £29.95 for the whole kit. Right, go on then, Joe. Next. I have done them slightly out of order. I did start with the aerial. No, that's what you can do it wherever you want. It's your, it's your thing. It, this bit, prep, prepping all these bits, it's fine, which yes. order. Um, I've made sure I've come right down into the V here. Oh, wait, no, we didn't see that. Right down into the V there. Right. At the top there, and then down into this V as well. Right, right down to almost the stitching on that one. Yes, right down. Taking care to avoid the stitching, but right down so you get a good... Um, it turns nicely and you get a good corner. Yeah. There, so I'll turn this the right way. Right, little tip here, don't do what I do, right? Can I just... What I always do is I go like this from this end, right? That's wrong, isn't it? I'll show, let Joe show you how to do it. I find it a little bit easy because pieces like this are quite fiddly. I find it easy to sort of pull them apart at the top and try and push the top in. If you want the water erasable pen, we'll be able to show you that in a second. Because Joe always uses that, doesn't she? I do. I have more often than I have one in my handbag. Really? Why would you have one in your handbag? I don't know, it just always ends up in there, but you never know. When 245 you... that is for the uh, hemline. That's the wipe-off fabric marker there. £2.45. Let's gently ease that through. No, that's the right one. Oh, it's got no writing. You've used this one so much, all the writing's Possibly. been wiped off. That is the water eraser. That is the one, yeah. yeah. We do a purple one as well, which is the air... Uh, uh, what do you call it? <gasps> I'm ever so sorry. There's no words coming out today. I've only got one job, and that's to talk. Um, the air. air erasable. No, is yes. that what we say? Air vanishing, or... Oh, look, you're just as bad. No, yeah, I'm no good today. Talking and pointing, that's my job. And then when we did our practices, I had the Derek the Dobra, and my note was, don't point at the... I was doing this all the time. Why don't you buy this? Why don't you buy <laughs> this? That was my one, one. It was not your note. Anyway. There we go, so... That's put... done. I'll pop a little bit of filling in. You need the tiniest bit, don't you? You do. They'd stand up without it, wouldn't they? Should I leave them without? We'll see leave how that they... one without and let's see what happens. 
I mean, they are nice stuffed as well, but... Okay, so we've got the, f the front, the face, and the aerial. What's next? I'll fit the aerial in, just so it doesn't go missing. Okay. Often they end up down the back of my desk. Um, on this pattern piece, this is the bit that goes around the sides of the head and across the top. Is that one, is that, that one there? It's that one there, yes. And there's a little mark here. Yeah. Okay, and there's a little mark on the pattern pieces, though. There is, to make a little hole in the centre. Is it the side and the top of the head? No. It's that one there. Oh, there, so there this is, is, there's the aerial, aerial. Fits in there. The aerial goes in there, you see. There you go, brilliant. I'll pop that through. Oh, so you cut a little hole? You cut, yes. Oh, so it's not a seam going it's across? Not, so it sort of works as a bit of a dart, that this in the top. It sort of shapes it a little bit as well. Here, look, on the top there. That's the, like a little dart effect there. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Where does it say attention? Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Now, that, that fabric there, they're calling that the cream fabric, that one. The one you're seeing at the moment is the blue one that Joe's making, the, the graphics you're seeing at the moment. Uh, cream's, uh, no, oh, yeah, cream's at the bottom there. Right, OK, sorry. So it's in this opening here, and I've just, with the pen, just marked the seam I want to make, so, because I want to so make sure... it's like sure a half moon, almost. It like is. A, you yeah. have tapered the sides just so it doesn't make a corner on the finish. Yeah. So it's a nice, smooth finish. And just to make sure this is really well held. So like a curved dart, almost like a banana dart, It is a banana, it? yeah, a banana dart. Do you think that's the official term? Is it not? I don't know, I might use a banana dart. I it's, think that's what we always told, yes. Is it a banana dart? I think... Oh, oh, I'm gonna I put, could be completely wrong now. Is it called... Is it called a banana dart at home? Who liked it? I'm going to put that in my patterns from now on. They're saying it could be called the Carter dart. <laughs> yeah, you'll put banana dart in. Everyone will write into the magazines going, what does she mean, <laughs> banana dart? It's called a... I'm sure that's what we were told it was called at college. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? So. And I've just reversed over the aerial just to make sure it's really it's well yeah. held in. So then, I'm going to turn it out. That'll... The aerial's in place at the top. I think it will stand up when the... Yeah. Final thing's finished, so put that there. There were loads of baby rabbits on the road coming in this morning. Lots of baby rabbits and lots of, um, what are the birds where the boys are very, very brightly coloured and the, gir the girls are just brown? <laughs> Hang on. Pheasant! Pheasant! There were loads of pheasants coming in today. Yeah, right, now what bit are we doing next? These are the arms and... Oh, these are the arms we're doing next, then. The arms. So are the hands are sort of spanner hands. Is that... No, there's the arm there. That, uh, uh... Here. Here. There's the arms there. All and you see the thing is, they're not only written out the instructions, you also got brilliant pictures of them as well there. Right, okay. I'm working on all these components because I want to make sure I do these. That's a foot. Oh okay, that's not an arm at all then. That's not an arm, no, that's a foot. And What's this that is there, the hand. Then? This is the hand. So hand. this will form the spanner hand. Oh wow. And there's a leg. Sort of a chisel y. Oh foot. Uh, well that looks like one of those what are those um there's a plant, is it called honesty? No, it's not honesty. That has like an orange it's like paper, isn't it? Like, yeah. um, that's fantastic. So hang on. So let's just have a look. Will you run through how, you d how you've got to that? Yes, I'll make these now. I just need to find... Right, half the stock of the cream have gone already. Half the stock of the cream... It's only 8.25 and half the stock of the cream have gone already. This is... That's the cream one there with the robots on. That's the cream one with the robots on. OK, right. So, so... Wait, go on. So first of all, I'm going to make the limb. And they're exactly the same for the leg and the arm. Oh, OK. So it's just a tube, essentially. A fold that armless, isn't it, that one? And this is little Paul, legless. Normally, anyway. He only has to have one gin and tonic and he falls over anyway. He hasn't got far to fall, though, so... Oh, do you know what, little Paul? You've been away, haven't you? We're having official pictures taken of all of us, right? And you and, you and Hannah are having one done together. Yeah. No, not, not married, but people said we want to know what little Paul and, and Hannah look like. So we're having, all having official pictures taken. We said you two could... Yeah, Hannah was Hannah's idea, because she's going to have her hair done really, really, really high, and she's going to put her higher shoes on. So she'll be like this in the photo, and then you'll be like that in the photo. It'd be like this! It'd be like this! That'd be little Paul. That's Hannah. It's my Hannah impression. She's gone away to Spain for a wedding, God love her. Right. So, 
the limbs are just fold them half lengthways and stitch down the yes. long side. Yeah. Oh, I've only got one dog, I was going to do the other one for you, but. Got a message. Marcia, hello, Marcia. Marcia's from Brazil, you know. Uh, good morning, lovely John and Joe. Love your shirt, John. Gorgeous robot, if only my boy was younger. You're never too young. You're never too old for one of these, are you? You're not. Make him one, Marcia. Make him one. He'll love it. It's Christmas soon. I don't know how quick Marcia is in the sewing, you see. She might not be very quick, might she? My dog is a little bit wide for these lines. Oh, dear, is it? Let's see. Uh, remember the one we're working on at the moment, while we, we're fitting with this, have a look at this one. This is the, um, it's called the blue robot kit. And with it, you get the blue uh, fabric there with the, with the numbers on it, the yellow fabric, half metre of each, the white fabric and the green fabric. We need um, one of those... Um, a bodkin. Bodkin, really, don't we? I could do a Janice. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> That might be the only... Oh, have you got yours to go through? Sort of. I'm ever so sorry that this is... Uh... Let, go through... While we're doing this, go through, the, go through the different kits. See the options. I'll talk you through it, don't worry. Uh, so that one there is the blue one, which you've just seen, the one that Joe's uh, making. So you get half a metre of each of the fabrics, the blue with the numbers, the yellow, the white and the green. You get the two threads, the embroidery thread, the eyes, the instructions and the padding. That's the Galaxy Blue robot. Uh, we also have this one, which is the cream robot. So you get blue, white and orange fabric, and then the robot print fabric. You get the uh, zip. The zip, the embroidery thread, the sewing thread. This is the most popular one so far. This is the most popular one, sorry. <laughs> most popular one so far. Less than half the stock of that one. Then there's this one, which is the one that was a late arrival this morning. The late arrival, but it's that being very, very popular. That one, you get the same fabric as the blue one that Joe's using, but the, with the backgrounds white and the numbers on it. Then you get navy blue, white and orange. Uh, you get two threads, the embroidery thread, the zip, and the uh, eyes and the instructions and the padding. All that for 29 95 And last but not least is the uh, circuit board one. Uh, you get the circuit board fabric half a metre, yellow, white and navy fabric. Oh, somebody wants to see the circuit board fabric. I'll do that. This is the. Um, can I just say you get loads of fabric, don't you? You do. There's two meters of fabric here. Two meters of fabric. Um, so that's the circuit board fabric. There. Can we have a close up. Right. And now, if everybody checks out of their basket, there's only two left. Can I see some names, little Paul, while we're here? I'll just fold that up. So this one's for the um, circuit board one. Jean, Catherine, Linda, Penny, T, Karen, Tessa, Gail, Rosemary, Bev, Sally, Alida, Jill, Anne, Christine, Noel, B B B uh, Linda. I was going to say someone's address then. I won't say your address, don't I? Uh, loads of you there. Loads of you. Now, if you all check out, there'll be two left. That's all. That's all. Okay. How are you doing? What you can do is just show how to do it with, with, with one if you're having the trouble there. It's, it's going OK. I... It's going OK. No. <laughs> it's, a, it's really not this difficult to do normally. I'm not sure how I'm managing to make such a meal of it. Pressure of live TV. The <laughs> fact you're hungover. Was it last night you went out? No, I went to sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have to pour in my poor milk in my right, Poor old Jo, right? She's, she's got three days' worth of shows. She had to make all of these for the three days' worth of shows. She's also got a, a magazine deadline. The deadline was April the 28th, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and little Paul kept this... She was making this love. I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to say what that one is, because it's going in a magazine, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm not it's sure. It's a little whether... animal. It's a little animal, anyway. The little Paul, it looks like little Paul with a hat on. And uh, little Paul was playing with that this morning. And then... Um, I thought you were going out one night, weren't you, weren't you to see your sister? Oh, yes, but she's not in Birmingham now. So. Oh, that's right, she, that's right. The reason Joe agreed to do three days was because her sister was supposed to be in Birmingham tonight. So she wants to stay over and do a third day, go out with my sister. Sister cancels. So, <laughs> uh, good morning. Oh, this is from T. I just read your name out, T. Good morning, what a treat, the John and Joe show. Got the robot for my new grandson to go with all the other Joe Carter toys he now has. That's Tracy in Coventry. Thanks, Trace. And then one more. Hello, I've just found you. First time watching. We've been here since January the 31st. Yeah, that's right. Great, by the way. Can you make more than one robot out of the fabric? We were saying that earlier. You only get one zip in the kit. So I'll tell you about a zip, what you can do with a zip in a minute. But 
Is there enough fabric? There would be enough fabric to make two, would there? Of the sort of circuit board or robot fabric, there's not quite enough to make two, but why, if why, you... Why? But the same amount of all the fabrics? To make... It's half a metre, isn't it? Yes. It takes just over a quarter of a metre to cut the fabric out. Oh, OK. To make... Of the whole body. The of whole the whole body. body. Oh, OK. So if you were to make one that had patches of that and then panels of the other colours, you've got... You, you could, could mix easily. them. So you, you can could. make two if you mix and match them, can't you? Yes. Yeah, so you can make two if you... If you kind of... If you have one with that body, a whole of the, the pattern fabric, and then the other one could have, like, yellow sides or something like that. The thing about the zip, right, where could they get a zip? If they haven't got a zip, <laughs> Joe, where could they get a zip from? Um, I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Joe, when we sent her the kit, right, there was no zip in the kit, and she had to make it ready for the show today. So she bought, what was it, size age 7? Age 12 to 13. Oh, age 12 to 13, boys zip, uh, jeans, and cut the zip out of them. So if you've got an old pair of jeans, you could use that as a zip. You could. Well, no, there was no zip shop open. That was the problem. If the haberdashery shop would be open, she'd have both been able to zip, you see. Yeah. So, anyway. I had a zip in my Check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. Right, let's get a move on. Look, I'm chattering away. I'll shut up now. So but, this is the hand. Yes, and this is a limb. And the hand folds over like this, and this forms the sort of spanner. Right, there you go. Spanner head. And then with the folded side of the limb in the facing to the bottom of the dart, that fits in there like that, and I'm just going to sew across there, and yeah. that joins the hand to the bottom of the limb. OK. What, uh, you don't do names, do you, for any of your... Um... I don't, really. For some reason, little boy wants to call him Frank. Frankenstein wasn't a robot. It should be uh, Robert. Robert the robot, or Rachel the robot, or... Yeah, yeah, or um, Robbie, Robin, Robin with a Y, Robin with an I. Sorry. So you've stitched across the bottom of the arm. And, and I've gone backwards and forwards a couple of times just to make sure it's really well secured. And then I'm just going to move that out of the way and then sew around from this side, down here, up around that opening and then finish here, so leaving a, the side bit. Right. Why this does little that, bit oh, open I see. Yeah. Because they're, they're stuffed and closed separately at the end. Right. Because I wouldn't be able to get stuffing down no, this God, arm. No, no, and... no. So I'll do that. Now, um, could you, if you wanted to, make the arms a little bit wider and put stuffing in them if you wanted to? You could. I mean, you could put stuffing into the arms. Not like that thin, you couldn't, could you? You could, you could pop some in. If you had something small to yes. poke the filling down into, but you wouldn't be able to fill the hands oh, that no, way. Oh, no, you're but right, you could you're get right, some right, into right, the yes, arms. Yes. You know best, I'm just asking questions. I think it'd work quite well, actually, with a little bit of filling in the limbs. First time this one's been on there, remember? Brand new, brand new. He's brilliant, isn't he? Look at his little face. That's it. Hello. He's cute, isn't he? So uh, you get you get the eyes, you get the eyes, you get everything you need in the in the everything you need for this is in the bundle. The fabrics, the eyes, the zip, the uh, all the embroidery thread for because we haven't even talked about the computer. You know the. Now that's not a circuit board. That's all embroidered. And then, what's this meant to be here? Just button-type details. Oh, OK. Button-type details. Because they're different. Oh, when you did these two for the, for the picture, they've got different tummies. Look, one's got the button details, and then one's just got a polka dot detail. I think they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is uh, Little Paul's favourite Joe Carter toy so far. Is it? Yes. Right. So, go on. So I've stitched around, leaving this opening, and then the limb can poke through there so it yes. doesn't get caught up in the seams. And then from here, we need to... I'm not sure whether this is marked in the pattern, actually, because with fleece, they stretch a bit oh, more. Oh, of course, yes, yes, yes. So this is sort of fabric-dependent, this bit of clipping. But So clip into either side of the internal bit. That wasn't very... You know. Yes, Sorry. I know what you mean. Sorry. Um, I've got a stock warning on all four. Don't have to say this is this one, this one. All four, stop warning, they're all limited. Some of them are guaranteed, if you are, haven't got them in the you can check out. Some, there is disappointment on the horizon. 
the jo one Joe's making at the moment, guaranteed if you check out now, but the robot one, the, cre the cream one, not guaranteed. Neither is the circuit board one. Right, OK. So that's the hand done then. Yes. Once the clipping in the centre and just these corners at the bottom. Right. So that's this, that's that one. So there. that's that. And then you make two of those and you put those, you don't do anything else to that at the moment. And they sit there like that. You could pop some filling down the limbs if you wanted at this point. And yeah. they're ready to go then. So that's that one. OK, right. And then the foot. The foot. It's the same. Looks odd. Yes, you're telling me. Yeah, sorry. Um, I pop the limb in first. So again, folded side, so not the seam side. Folded side to the end of the dart. Oh no, I I wouldn't have put it there. Isn't that funny? Oh, it's very confusing. It's not confusing at all if you look at the if you look at the um, instructions. It is an odd looking pattern piece. This one, I. Um. Oh no, I haven't got it yet. Christine from Devon. Oh, hello, Christine. We were to, Were we talking about Devon? Is it Devon? No, you're going to Cornwall. Cornwall. Yeah. Uh, hello, John and Joe. Love the robot. Love your toys, Joe. Oh, thank you. Uh, is the big eared bunny coming back? <laughs> uh, I missed out last time. Thank you for your great shows, Christine. Um, I didn't. I haven't even seen the big eared bunny. We've not done the big eared bunny together, have we? No. I don't Got know. Another I'm big not sure. Bunny. We'll have to do that then. We'll have... Could you put pipe cleaners in the arms and the legs, says Elaine? So they would be posable. Yeah, you could. Um, there so they'd be what? Posable? posable oh, yes, could... I suppose they would, wouldn't they? Like this. Yeah, I... I did the arms then to show posable. That wasn't... Doing his swans, look. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's a good idea. Oh, the only, thing I'd, say about, uh, the only thing I'd say about pipe cleaners, if you're going to give it to a little child... Yes. ...I'd be a bit worried that the ends might come could out. Because they could and... come through the fabric. Yes. So, that's the, Elaine, that's the only thing I'd say. If you're going to give it to a child, I'd, I'd be careful of the ends of a pipe. They still make pipe cleaners. That's the thing of, like... They do. ...days gone by, isn't it? Anyway, I let's mean, carry to on protect the ends, you could put masking tape around the ends yes, as well, said. things like that, if... Um... Good idea, though. Oh, could you put... Could you put... Um, you know your washing powder? No, your wash... Could you make a door stopper? Dishwasher salt. You could. You can have him sitting think, holding the door. Do you know, Jay asked me that yesterday. Jay? Mm? Oh. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, yeah, I'm not interested now. So I folded that in half and then stitched this dark clothes with the leg in at the end yeah. and tapered the end. And I've gone over the, where the leg is just yeah. to make sure it's securely held. And now this now folds. So this... You know when we made the Russian doll mm -hmm. and the little baby Russian doll was in a little pocket -y bit at the back? Yes. Could you make the mouth on this? Would that be really, really difficult to make the mouth so they've got a pocket in there and you could hide sweets in it and things? You could. I think that would... Be, I'd have to have a think. I think oh, it okay. could be quite tricky. OK. Well, you'd have, there, there will be a way. We can't talk politics, but you're having a political moment there, aren't you, when they're mm -hmm. asked questions, they don't know the answers. <laughs> political. So this... Right, sh let's, let's concentrate. Yes, exactly. This corner here, this comes along here like this, and then we want to pivot at this point. So if you can see, I've left the seam allowance there at the end of the slope section and just marked where... So those, those that, darts where I need there to turn. that you're doing... Yeah, this will be this corner at yes, the bottom yes. gives it a point. So once I've marked where the turn will be, I'm just going to snip that. Not the full seam allowance, but that will just help it turn in a minute to go around the corner. OK. The original had stretchy fabric, which did make this easier. Oh, of course, yes. But it is doable still with the... Please check out your baskets. That's something you want to see the numbers in white, of course you can. So at that point where I marked and we've made the slit, I'm going to pop the needle, keep it down through the fabric and Oh, hang on, hang on. Go that back. We need to watch that. So you've got it. You've gone stitched down there to the pot, the point. To the point. Needles Let's... in. Foots up. I'm just going to pivot this all round so that I can sew. I'm just flick this end of the fabric. We need it to all to be straight. So make sure that's doing the right thing. And then. Oh, so you're doing the V. I see. I see. Sew down this part now. Brilliant. Did you see this or not? Did I waft it too? Get half a metre of it, remember? Half a metre of each of the fabrics. That's lovely. That's the, um...
That's the white one. That's the white one. Got new customers messaging. Now, how much is twenty nine ninety five? If you're a new customer, you also get. If you're a new customer, you buy this, you also get the, the um, sewing quarter uh, sewing kit. It's free. It's worth fourteen ninety five. Get that for free. Get that free as long as your first order is over. It's only for new buyers. It's as long as your first buy, first but start again. New buyers whose first purchase is over ten pounds, which this is twenty nine ninety five. Brilliant. Right, see who. So that was where I pivoted with the needle down. Yeah, hang and on. stitched. There you go. Right. So it forms a corner, a nice tight corner there, and that's where I snipped the snipped fabric. Into it, yeah. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. I've snipped the fabric, so it's Righty just position home. that. This is probably the fiddliest bit on it. It's what? The fiddliest bit. Once fiddliest you've, bit, once you've this done bit. this, that's. The worst out of the way. You stay on the sewing, but I just have a slurp of my water. Right, more than half the stock of everything has gone so far, but there's an awful lot of baskets need checking out. That's all I'm saying. Uh, very low on the, which one do you call in turquoise? The circuit board one. The circuit board one. We're very low on the circuit board one. It's not curved turquoise. I'm also low on the robot one, which is called the cream one, which is this one, which is the original one. No, the robot fabric. Right? So we've got the sort of chiselled end to the foot. Oh, it looks like a piece of cheese. It does, doesn't it? And then the darts at the back there to create the box shape at the back. So I'm just oh, going to sew wow. those together and then leave... The other one open. The bottom bit here open so that they can be stuffed later. Okay, lovely. Okay, so I'll close that and that's the limbs done. Okay. Now we've only got about 10 minutes left. Right. Or 12 minutes left, say 12 minutes left. I'll move on to the control panel right now. So that's how a foot should look from the side. Yeah. I'll leave that one there and move on. So I turn that one through. Go on then. Yeah. What's next then? Body. It must be the body next then. Control panel. Oh, control panel. Yeah. Of course. Now the button section is made up of three strips. No, that's four. I that's can't four. Count, can I? Four <laughs> strips. Um, I'm just going to sew these together along the length, altern altern yes. alternating the colour. Because we're making the um, this here. We're making the um, control panel now. In fact, that, that's it. There, that's better. It's better over there, isn't it? That's the control. Oh, so you're going to cut them? Oh, of course you are. The instructions are fantastic, aren't they? So what you're going to do is you're going to sew them all together in alternate, then cut them, and then sew them back together to make like a little patchwork quilt. Yes, just move one round the other way. So it's this is this is fantastic as well. This this instructions because once you've made them out of the fabric that we're putting into the kit, you can then keep this. It's good quality. Keep it and make it out of other fabrics. Uh, that you might have in your stash. Because everyone's got a zip in their stash, haven't they? They have. You don't need to have... Oh, actually... You're getting one, two, three, four, six eyes. You can make three with the eyes there. It's like a pamphlet, a whole pamphlet, look. Is there a ruler around? Oh, sorry. Did you not put it on your list? I mustn't have Oh, it's not just about to say, Jay. Amy! We need a ruler. Just a little quilting ruler, that one of those. Yes, just a small little one, just small, so I can divide little, this into three. Not a little small, just a small ruler, please. Oh. There we go. No, there's not one next door. Oh. See, this is why I said we, sh we should always have a sewing basket on the desk with all the essentials in. Right, OK, is Amy there? As quick as you can, because we're ready to do it now. We've only got a few minutes. I mean, I could just go for it with scissors. Yeah, just go for it with scissors, because we need right. lots of We need of to measure things. it and divide it by three. But Too late. I'm, I'm just going to... OK. Go and you'd press it. those, wouldn't you, normally? I would press them, yes. And then... And then... Just switch one yeah. that way round, and then sew them and together. And you can sew those together then to make a little... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's right. That's my fault. 
sorry. Yeah, you should have put it on your I list. Know, I know, I you know. The list you sent in yesterday, nobody could open I it. I know. No, they've had to redo it for you to open it this morning, but yesterday morning it was, um, what's the word, uh, incompatible or something like that yesterday. Yes, I used a mystery format. Yes. <laughs> but even you don't know what no. it is. I have no idea. First time on air for the Digital Love uh, robot soft toy. Uh, design, it's designed by you, isn't it? Designed okay. by Joe Carter. Joe Carter Original. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? And we do, we've done the four bundles for you. I do need to tell you, you need to start checking out. Seriously, you need to start checking out now. If you definitely want this, please, please, please check out your baskets. There will be disappointment in the uh, cream, which is the robot fabric, and the uh, circuit board fabric. These two here in front of me here. OK. Please check out your baskets. There is going to be disappointment on the horizon. We don't want people disappointed. Right, I'll finger press that. Well, what's the next thing then? Oh, the bit Just down the side. Assemble the next bit, yeah. I'll put go. the side bit on. Little Paul, little Paul, so used to disappointment in his life, he doesn't want other people to feel like that. He said that, not me, his words, not mine. And if you didn't want to embroider the numbers on, I think it still looks nice. It still gives the idea of a button panel if it's just left of the plain colours. Um, at least you could, you could do all sorts of things. You could do symbols, you could do anything, you could. really. Or you could write its, its name in the squares. Oh, that you know like good. those, you know like that posh shop at Christmas that do a teddy bear every Christmas? Yes. You could put this name on his feet down there, they're saying. Oh, that'd be nice. Or your child's name, whoever you've made it for. Um, Oi, Marcia's case, a grown-up son. I was going to say put the date of birth on as well, but don't if they're old. Oh, look, he can fold his arms. Look. Oh, I used to stand like that. My mum used to shout at me all the time because I used to stand like that all the time when I was a child. And look, I'd get the robot to do the same. He's so cute. Anyway. Now, I'd give that all a good press. Yes. The back is all a bit lumpy. And then pin it onto a piece of the white fabric. Just cut larger and it just supports. Why is it on, why is it on the white fabric? Because you don't see it, do you? No, but it just supports your embroidery. Oh, OK. Um, it just makes it that bit easier. And then also, in it, for the sort of, oh, I don't know how to describe them, What's the zigzag lines across the bottom of the control panel. It helps. Yeah, the heartbeat. The heartbeat, yes. It's the casualty. Dude, oh, I don't know the tune. I was going to sing. Oh, there you go. No, that's, that's Simon Bates. <laughs> oh, Every true. tune, so I, 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 he does, Little Paul does the same tune. Uh, hello, Joe and John. Just ordered the blue robot kit to make for my grandson, George. Loving the show. That's Sue in Leicestershire. Thank you, Sue, my love. Thank you. All right, you can stop singing now, Paul. Thank you. So you've written the numbers on in water, water erasable rainbow. pen. And then you just use the embroidery thread to embroider... Oh, well, I'll show you on this one. To embroider the numbers and have all the details on. Yes. So they're just backstitched on with half-thickness embroidery thread. I think that's probably three strands oh, okay. of thickness. But you could do whatever you wanted, really, could, in there, And you could you? leave them plain. They or leave them plain, to, yeah. uh... OK, brilliant. So we'll and pretend then, that's done. And then along the bottom for the heartbeat... Oh, yes. This is the bit I was messing around with before. <laughs> um, so it's just, just a decorative stitch, then, is it? It is. It's just a zigzag stitch, but all the way along. Making a noise. There we go. Oh, you just played with the... So just if now, change. if I haven't got a nice posh sewing machine like the Elner 540, could I do that on my normal zigzag on... Cos my machine just does straight and zigzag and everything. I could just alter the width as I went along. Yes, that's yeah. what I do. I yeah. mean, I was just upping and down the... The Stitch height width. of them yeah. all the way along, and that just gives a look of a sort of like a heartbeat monitor. Yeah. Right now, I don't want to hurry, but I've got five minutes. Okay. You've got five minutes now. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to baste this together onto here properly, tack this on, and then baste them together. Okay. All, the, all of these instructions are in the instruction kit, but also you can watch. The show will be repeated at 12 o'clock today, 4 o'clock today, 8 o'clock today. The show, this show will be repeated. Of course, you can always go to YouTube after it's all finished and watch it on YouTube. Uh, but if, if Joe's going a little bit fast for you or we're running, running ahead, 
All those instructions are just amazing, aren't they? Fantastic. And then you also you get there's the foot. We haven't got to the bottom of the body yet there. We've done the aerials. That's the limb. That's the... We haven't, oh, we haven't done that bit yet. Oh, yes, that's the bit with the, uh, with the aerials uh, sewn into it. And then all... There's the hand. You see, you've got all the panels. That's all you need to do. Um, they're all the right size, and they've all got uh, seam allowance on them. So the one that Joe's making is uh, the one with the b navy blue fabric with the coloured uh, numbers on it. Half a metre of each of those fabrics, you get the pattern fabric, two metres of fabric in total, so lots and lots of fabric, two uh, threads, the zip, the embroidery thread, the eyes, the instructions and the padding all there for £29.95. Now, you, you get a white zip with this one, all the others you get the navy blue zip with. Right, OK, put that back there. Right. This right. obviously would be pressed and neat yes. and embroidered and all the rest of it, yeah. but I've just speeded along. And then want to sash, essentially, the bottom. Oh, so it's like, like the sash, not the sash, like not the Miss World sash, like a sash when you're quilting. Just the borders of the, of the front. Just to make, and this makes the stomach panel, so I'll pop these on very quickly. Okay, then. Right, a little Paul saying he might, when he makes his, yep. which we'd love to see, um, he's going to do, think, customise it, give it an eye patch, I... give it a bandana. That's so you're going to have a pirate, a pirate robot. That's what that looks like, that, doesn't it? It's like pincer hands, aren't they? Do you call them spanner hands? That was the inspiration. It's I think it's brilliant. Spanners and chisels for the hands and the feet. Robert Spanner Hands, he's called. <laughs> Robert Spanner Hands, the robot. Uh, right, so you just, what you're doing is you make you, all these in, all these instructions are in the kit of what size to add and everything. So you're just creating the front of the robot now. You're, you're just putting this this um, border around the front section. I am. And this the... now, from this point, it's all straight lines, all straight. Yep. Nice, easy stitching. Of course, what you what you're when you're doing it, we didn't have room for the iron this morning. When you're doing it, iron each section so that each. S part of that little um, composition is all nice and pressed and flat and everything like that. Because we are making poor... Every time she comes, we make a rush, 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 rush. The thing is, it's difficult to get a full toy done in the hour. And yes. With this one, I just wanted to make oh, sure I went through the limbs and... We've got two minutes left, Joe. We've got two minutes, right. Well, I'll stop what I'm doing. So that would be... Yes. The front panel and the sides, then you join the sides on. I'll show this bit quickly. The head joins to... It's not, not quite finished yet, Paul, though. It's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's The front panel goes there, like that. And then there'll be another section down the side there. Right, OK. And then you'd make the sides of the body. These come round oh, okay. the sides. OK, let's, let's put this out flat. Let's lay them out flat. So that's the, centre, that's the front panel there. Right, that's the centre panel, which should have that sash down there as well. Then these are the two sides. And you baste with the opening facing towards the back, the back. of the robot. Yeah. There, there are markers to show where you base those in. OK, so they go there and there. Uh, what about these? Oh, no, they... The, the way the head joins the body is yeah. just a square. So line up the squares and sew around. What's that bit, sorry? This is the bottom of the head and the top of the body. The bottom of the head and the top of the body, what, in there? Yes. It joins re really simply. Oh, yes. You just have to pivot round. Let's do one more stitch. Yeah, well, just wait a second. I just want to see this bit, because this bit's quite important. There we go. Okay. So that's how the head, this is the bottom of the head. That's how it adjoins to the So body. that's the bottom of the head and that's the top of the body. Yes, and you don't need to clip these. It's just a really simple line the squares up and sew around the edge. And then you that's literally you just, um, I'm going to have to leave you now, that's the problem. I know, I know, sorry. So that yeah. goes there, that goes there, that goes in there. Right, and what are those? These are the bottom bits that the legs sandwich into. So you want to fold them the other way so yeah. the seam runs down the back. Perfect. And they're based in there. But it's all straight lines. It's all in the pattern. All the instructions there. I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go. Thank you, Joe. Thank and you. Now, the reason I'm wondering over here is because... Poor old Joe. Thanks, Joe. They're Thank brilliant. You. Um, any questions you've got, just send them in and Joe will answer them for you. It's not a problem at all. Email them in and Joe will answer them for you. Um, so that's the robot done. 
The next hour is me on my own with my John Scott's Nature Trail. But at 10 o'clock, Joe's coming back to do this. Oh, we've got a picture of it, haven't we? It's uh, the Cave Facet quilt. Now, we've done it before. Natasha had a two-hour special with Joe. Um, and they sold out completely. We've managed to get a few more. We've only got a few more. We're only doing an hour this time. But basically, it's a kit to make the whole of that half moon quilt from K Facet. Not only the front, not only all the fabrics for the front, but the back and the, uh, the wadding to go inside as well. Look, look, uh, you get all of this. These are all your fabrics. This is the backing. That's the backing. You get the wadding and all the instructions, everything like that. But that's at 10 o'clock. That's at 10 o'clock. Make sure you come back for that. Because in the next hour, in three minutes' time, it's just me. And I've got some really, really love. Now, I've, I've, I've got a repeat. I've got a repeat of... Um, some of the Fox's fabric, and I've got new fabrics to show you as well. And I've got two really gorgeous bundles, which are fabulous for uh, your stash, really. Uh, really, really lovely, love coat. Now, I need to just warn you, you've got to check out your... But people are going to be disappointed. There are too many people now with Robert the Robot in their baskets for you all to have them. So I do need you to check out. If, you need, if you're having any problems, just call the call centre, 0800 112 4433. But you really, really, really need to check out. I'm only telling you for your own good. I don't want to give you any undue pressure, but I don't want anyone to miss out. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. So today we're going to be learning the prick stitch. Now the prick stitch is very similar to a back stitch and they're basically very tiny stitches which are visible on the front of the fabric uh, and very long stitches on the back. So first of all you need to start with the needle at the wrong side of the fabric coming through to the front and like I said it's very similar to the back stitch where you're going to go backwards rather than forwards and you want to make this stitch as tiny as possible so taking a couple of um, strands from the fabric itself. And then the length of your prick stitch could be entirely up to you. So I'm going to make it quite a large one so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going through the fabric and then I'm going to come back again, taking a couple of strands from the fabric to come down. You want to keep these as even as possible as you're going across the line. So there we have our prick stitch. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. time we had some new adverts don't you think i was not watching those adverts but welcome to john's nature trail oh where is it oh i thought you were bringing it up there 
They were making a big thing about it's John's nature trail. Um, right, uh, now before I go on, remember you can send me messages because this, these hours, when I show you fabrics, I need to know what you're going to use the fabrics for. Because it's an hour of gorgeous fabric, some of which you've seen before, some of which are brand new, some of which we've put together in a bundle for you. Um, so I need to know from you uh, just what you're going to make out of them, or any ideas of the show, or any, any ideas of shows that you might want to see in the future. The best way to do it is go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com, click on Watch Now, Watch Today's Show. You click on there. Oh, look, my belly looks huge in this shirt. Oh, well, look, it's resting on the table. That reminds me of my friend Caroline Lindsay. She doesn't rest her belly on the table, mind you. Uh, message the studio. Uh, just send me a little message there. Uh, you have to log in. You have to log in um, uh, to send your message, but keep the characters short in that one. You can also email me, which is studio. Which well, it goes through to Little Paul, produce Little Paul. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Right, now look. As we see there, everything I've shown you so far, the four kits, the erasable pen, uh, the water erasable pen, and the Bonderweb are all still available. But if everybody now checks out their baskets, which I'll, I'll advise you to do, in the um, circuit board one, the two at the bottom, actually, the two at the bottom, the white one and the circuit board one, there are more people with that in their basket than we actually have them. So I would advise you to check out now. The other ones, uh, I think you're still safe. On, oh, no, hang on, I've got that wrong. It's the Galaxy Cream one and the circuit board one, which are sh uh, uh, you're going to miss out on. The ones with the writing on, the blue numbers and the white numbers, they're the ones that um, you do have to be very, very, very careful because just a couple left if you do check out your baskets now. Right, I'll move on. I'll move on because it's all about fabrics. Now, you know when you buy uh, fabrics by the half metre here or cut fabrics from us, they don't just come in a bag. They come in the most gorgeous little box like this. It's such a fantastic idea because when you've bought yourself a really, really lovely piece of fabric, the last thing you want to do is have it shoved in a carrier bag, isn't it? So this is, how the, this is the box it will arrive in at your house. It's got one of those <laughs> openers there, so you have to get your scissors out to it or anything. And then when you open it up, the fabric is all beautifully wrapped in tissue paper. Uh, and then a lot of people have said that these are such good sturdy boxes, they then use those as, because it obviously rips off there, you could tuck that in, use them as storage boxes. Use them as storage boxes. Right, the last time I showed you this, it all sold out. However, uh, a couple of people didn't check out their baskets. Right, this is what happens, right? All I've got of this fabric are five units, which is two and a half metres. That's all I've got of this fabric. I'm just warning you now, I'm going to run through all the fabrics very quickly, but I've only got two and a half metres of this fabric if you want it. It's 100% cotton. Hang on, let me just check. Yeah, 100% cotton, this one. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? Because you've got all oh, this is John's nature trail, you see. Hedgehogs. Oh, right, people are adding to their basket. You need to check out straight away if you want this. You need to check out straight away if you want this, because there's literally only two and a half metres left. Only two and a half metres left. Do you want to have another quick look? Right. OK, please, 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 if you have added it to your basket, please check out. Please check out. Right, OK, so that's that one. That's that one. Now, there's two other fabrics you've seen before. This one, first of all. If you love your fox... In fact, the whole, sh the whole show is very fox-orientated today. This is lovely, isn't it? Now, I'll show you as well, this is wider. Now, I've only got four and a half metres of this one left. I've only got four and a half metres left. Right, let me just um, check here. 56 inches wide. 56 inches wide, which is, because we have to do it properly, don't we? 142 centimetres wide. I know, but there's only, what you say, four and a half metres left. There's only four and a half metres left. We had loads of it. Just four and a half metres of this. It's £4.95 for half a metre. What you're seeing on the desk is a metre, obviously. Isn't it cute? Isn't it lovely? When I launch this, I mean, we've only had one launch show of it, and it's all gone apart from four and a half metres. OK, next one. I'll keep you updated, but if you put it in your basket, don't just leave it there. What you need to do is you need to check out your baskets. Right, then this one. Scandi Fox. The fox isn't Scandi, it's the, the, the... 
Now, it's funny because yesterday we had nautical, didn't we? We had a nautical and we had these on the nauticals as well, didn't we? And I was saying, oh, is that how strong the current is, do you think? But obviously not because it's there in the foxes as well. So that's £4.95 half metre. 100% cotton, machine washable, 30 degrees. Nice, isn't it? Now I have got... No, oh well, shall I tease you? I've got pre... You can't see them, can you? I've got premieres coming up. I'll do bundles first, though. I'll do bundles first. Though. Now, what, uh, what I want to say to you is the weight of these fabrics is slightly heavier than these, so you can't... I don't think you can mix and match those with quilting, but these and these you will be able to. Or if you just want these gorgeous colours for your stash. This is called... This is called Forest what? Uh, forest Spectrum, half a metre of chocolate, dark green, foliage, ivory and Vienna orange in there. Nice, £15.95. For two and... Two and a half uh, metres of fabric you get there for £15.95. Nice, isn't it? Look at those gorgeous colours. If you're doing something... Now, I always hate it when people go autumnal. The word is autumnal, right? And people go autumnal, don't they? Aren't they gorgeous, those colours? Aren't they fantastic, those colours? I will, I will waft them for you in a second. Autumnal, they are, not autumnal. Then look at this. This reminds me of daybreak. This is what it's like when I'm driving into work in the morning. Uh, you know what I was saying the other day, how we have different... That's what you see in the morning, is it, with the sunrise? In the countryside. Uh, in there, you get five half metres. You get biscuit, maize, ochre, pearl blue and teal. I mean, they're just fantastic anyway, just for your stash building, aren't they? Five half metres of spectrum, uh, solid, 100% cotton, 30 machine, not 30%, 30 degrees machine washable for £15.95. Now you're wondering why are they showing me these colours? Why are they showing me these colours? Well, I'll show you why they're showing these colours. Premier time! Da, 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 da. I'm going to do... Well, I'm not going to tell you which one my favourite is. Premier! Oh, now, was the iron broken, Amy? Now, Amy, the first thing Hayley said when she came in the other day was, why aren't the fabrics ironed properly? Look. This is Mr Fox in yellow. That's bright yellow, isn't it? Oh, we love, we love this. Mr Fox. Yellow fabric. 100% cotton. £4.95. Now, obviously, you're seeing a metre there. Let me show you what half metre is. I'll, I'll go through all the colours. Right, there we go. That's Philip Schofield, isn't it, Silver Fox? Oh, actually, the, the others haven't got Silver Fox on. This is the only, if you love Silver Foxes. This is the only one with Silver Foxes on. But I love them. There's one all curled up there. One's very alert down there. You can't see that one. One's very alert. There must be another. There he is. Alert. Sleepy. Acorns. Acor these are acorn leaves, aren't they? Oak leaves. That's oak leaves. What leaves are these, then, Paul? You... Whatever they are, they're unbelievable, aren't they? So that's the Mr Fox in yellow. I'll leave that one out while we go on to the next one. So that's Mr Fox yellow. Which one? Oh, this one, the icon one. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Uh, right, ooh, now, what well, we'll do... This one will, oh, now, not... I don't know. Yeah, okay. No, hang on. Which one would you say was which? No. Right, now, we've got an issue here. Right, right now, I'm just, I'll explain, because I'm honest with you. I'm honest with you, right? Look, there are two different sorts of blues. One is called duck egg, which I think is that one. And one is called blue, which I think is this one. But what do you think? You think this one is? Okay, right. 
Right, no, 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 no. I'll get Amy to come in here. Get Amy to come in here quickly. I'll move on to the next one. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, I, if Amy comes in, she can go to the buying department because they're all in. And they can just double check which is which. Right, so I'll give that to Amy. Thank you, Amy. Right, OK, let's move on to this one then. This is nice. This is Mr. Where's Amy? She needs to run faster, doesn't she? This is Mr. Fox Natural. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Now, you see now, which of these would you team it with? See, look, they look gorgeous together. So this is 4 95 for half a metre. This bundle here, oh, I think, oh, oh, there you go. The Forest Spectrum Planes for £15.95. Aren't they lovely? They go beautifully together, don't they? Whether you get the foliage, um, oh, the, the information's disappeared. You get foliage, you get chocolate. Oh, is that why they work? They only work when they're full screen. We couldn't figure that out yesterday. OK, then we'll put them in then. Oh, chocolate, dark green foliage. Now, Havy, uh, Havy. <laughs> I, I'm just, just as well, I've got to tell. I've got one job and I can't even speak today. I can't come off that shop. Uh, Vienna Orange now. Vienna Orange. I've lost my cameraman, everybody. Um, so let me take that one out. And let's have a look if the, what, they have the other one, if the other one works or not. Oh, they look nice as well. That looks lovely as well, doesn't it? No, no, so this is the natural foxes. This is natural foxes. And this one here is, um, is it called summer? Biscuit, maize, ochre, pearl blue and teal you get in there. They're lovely, aren't they? At £15 and 95 pence. This is summer days. Summer days. And then this one is the um, natural. Now, I've got to reply. Right, OK. I was right. Thank you. OK, right. So let's put that one there. The, the, it has been sorted. It has been sorted. It's only because I want you to get the right things. It's only because I want you to get the right things, that's all. This is blue. Yeah. This is the blue. This is blue. That's Mr. Fox blue fabric. Um, and then the other one is turquoise, which they call duck egg. In real life, this is more duck egg. That's the, that's the issue. That's the problem. So this is the blue. 4.95 half metre. Now, that looks a bit wintry, doesn't it, that one? So let's have a look at that one with the summer days uh, bundle. There you go. Mix and match. OK, so that's your, uh, that's your Mr Fox blue fabric with your summer days bundle there. Huh? Yep. Right, there we go. I'm just waiting for my producer. Oh, no, I've got this one to show you. Now, they called this one duck egg. Now, that's the, the, the two colours. The, the foxes are very vibrant in that one, aren't they? What you need to do is dial the number. That's Mr Fox duck egg. 0800 112 44 33. It's four pounds ninety-five. Right, okay. I'll just fold that one away because I've just—that's everything now. That's everything. So you start putting them in your basket, making your mind up about which colour you want. Remember, the first one's already sold out. And then this one here is very close to selling out. Oh, right. If <laughs> if everybody checks out the basket, that's sold out now. So check out your basket, that's sold out. Right. 
Right, there are six units left and six people have got it in their baskets, but some of those might have more than one unit. Oh, hang on a second. Say that again. How do you know that? Oh, you need to tell Hannah that then. Okay, so that means... So let's look at this very quick. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me just put the four colours of these out first. This was the yellow, which I love, which that's the yellow, which I absolutely love. That with silver foxes on. That's the only one with silver foxes on. Then we've got the natural, which has got pale, sort of pale ginger foxes on it. Hello, Jill. Good morning, John. So excited. Spelt so. Uh, ordered on Friday, received today. Oh, that's brilliant. Sewing bee box and material. Thank you to the dispatch team. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Was I in on Friday, Jill? Was I? No, I wasn't in on Friday. Okay. Yeah, you will have been. Right, so that's the yellow. That's the natural. This is the blue. which has got very, very kind of... Now, if you can... Well, I'll put them all out. And then this one here is the duck egg. That one there is the duck egg, right? So you can see the different colours. So the yellow one has got silver foxes on. Then you've got the natural one, which has got a more muted coloured fox on. Then you've got the blue. And then you've got the uh, duck egg there. They're the four different colourways, right? So uh, we've got the Mr Fox yellow in there, Mr Duck Egg in the bottom there, and then those other two were, were, were there. Right, now, I've got bundles. Now, which one shall I keep out? I think I'll keep out the natural one. Well, it's up to you, but... No, no, my favourite's the yellow one. But the bundles, together with the, this natural one, looks, and both of them look amazing. The which one? Oh, the forest bundle's most popular so far. I'll show you both anyway. Okay, so this is the natural here. That's the natural um, Mr. Fox there. And then... There's that lovely, look at those together. Don't they look gorgeous together? So if we put some graphics in, the one in the background is the natural foot, Mr. Fox. Oh, hang on, no, there you go. And that's the Forest Spectrum bundle, 15 pounds and 95 pence. And there's the um, natural Mr. Fox natural fabric. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yes, so let's just open this one for you. See, in the bundle, you get half a metre of the dark green, half a metre of the foliage green, half a metre of the chocolate, half a metre of the Vienna orange, and half a metre of what they're calling ivory. Lots of multi so I'm not surprised, these are fantastic. These are fantastic as blender fabrics, aren't they? Na and Natural Fox is the most popular, so I've got the most popular bundle there. I'll just move it out slightly. I've got the most popular bundle and the most popular Mr. Fox. Nice, isn't it? Right, okay, so let me just put those back. Um, remember, 100% cotton, machine washable. Do you want to look at those on the still while I fold these up? There you go. There they are, 15 pounds and 95 pence. Two and a half metres, half a metre of each one. Um, for 15.95. Gorgeous, really, really good quality. They, and if you want more of those fabrics, if, you, if you're thinking, oh, that foliage is fabulous, I'll have more of that, go to the website. There might be some on the website for you. So that's the natural, that, and that's the natural foxes there. Half metre, half a metre, remember. So if you want two, you, you have to put... Uh, no, if you want one metre, you put two units on the... Um, on the uh, when you're checking out. Oh, no, I'm talking about this now. Sorry, I'll talk about this now. Oh, no, they're half metre. Oh, sorry, I, we're getting very confused here. 
Right, OK, so this bundle, I was going to get a fabric out to put on the bottom, that was it. So we'll put the yellow fox, right? This is half a metre. For half a metre. So now that's a metre. What you're seeing on the table there is a metre, right? So half of that for 4 95 And then if you want the bundle, a really, really lovely bundle. See now how they work well. So now the bundle... Half a metre of each fabric, so two and a half metres. Yeah, oh yes. So if you order two of them, you won't get a metre, you'll get a metre of each fabric in total, but they won't be a metre of length. You'll get two of each of those because they're already cut. We are working on it to try and, we are trying to work on it so that, um, but at the moment they're cut before, before the show. Uh, so you get in here biscuit, maize, ochre, pearl, blue and teal in that bundle. I think that, you see, that's, that says summer to me, doesn't it? That whole fresh, this would look lovely in the garden, whether you use it for bunting, whether you use it for tablecloths, whether you use it for cushions, uh, or really, really make lovely. Um, if you odour coated it, you can make all sorts of things for your outside summer, couldn't you? Uh, Joy, I think if Joy was here, she'd make those lovely, um, uh, what are they called, like coasters and mats, and then things to put your knives and forks in and everything. Or now... Um, Yesterday, we had lots of people saying that they've got wicker baskets at home and they're making um, linings for their wicker baskets. You know, the ones like, they're mad, Rebecca. Was she in today? So I think she's in today, better be careful. You know our crazy Rebecca Reed, right? She makes baskets with lining in and everything like that. I think she's in today. I think there's a whole management. Well, they might not be in yet. Will they be in yet? I don't know. Anyway, 15 95 for that bundle of five fabrics, two and a half fabrics, then. Right, we had an email from... How do you spell it? Sarah from Sarah. Oh, she, she's sent in some pictures of things that she's made from fabric she's bought. Oh, oh, yes, that was from the last time when we did the... Um, uh, oh, you know, I love these fabrics. Oh, right, I can talk to, I can talk, I can talk to the, the buying team because they're all in today. Please, 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 will you reorder the fabric? They were so popular, those, weren't they? Sold out, and within the hour, they all sold out, didn't they? They're lovely. I said posh, I said posh cushions, didn't I, Sarah? Now, hang on, don't take the picture down. Don't take, let me look at the picture again. Uh, well, you, what, are you having building work done, Sarah? Look out the back, look out the back. There's a tarpaulin and there's one of those like scaffolding poles there, isn't there? Thank you, Sarah. I want to know what you have. You have an extension. You're having a bigger kitchen. Thank you for getting in touch. It's very easy. You can web chat us on uh, the web or you can just send an email like Sarah just did. The only way to send photos, however, is on the uh, email. You can't send them any other way. Uh, and if you've got any questions for that need answering by another expert or by our customer service team, the best way to do it is by email and just send that in and little Paul can forward it to them and they'll sort that out for you. So we've done the natural and we've done the yellow foxes. Now this is where the confusion, a uh, little bit of confusion lies. This is blue. I'm going to show you them both at the same time so you can make your mind up. This is the blue fox, Mr Fox. That's a metre that you're seeing there. Let me, I'll tell you what, I'll put it into half metre so you can see what you're going to get for one unit. Is it half term? Are all the kids on holiday this week? Oh, crikey. Is it, what, and what's the weather like? Is it raining or is it nice today? Come on, come on. Oh, it's grey and wet here. Apparently. We haven't got any windows, see, so we can't see. But... Right, so this is Mr Fox Blue. That's half a metre, that's what you get. It's 54, 56 inches wide. And that's what you get with half a metre of Mr. Blue. No, no, not Mr. Blue. Mr. Fox Blue fabric. 4 half metre. 100% cotton. 30 degrees washable, machine washable. Uh, then, you see, then this is Mr. Fox. I'll do half a metre again for you. In duck egg blue. But I want you to see them together so you can choose which blue you want. Because if we were in the real world, this wouldn't be called duck egg blue. Right, you see this, so I'll just show you them. This one's a, like a baby blue, and that one's like a light turquoise. So, now I thought, oh, I thought the yellow would be. Right, the most, the most popular out of the foxes, Mr. Fox, the premier foxes, is the natural, oh, naturel, which is lovely. 
But you see, the thing is, I think what this is a meter, remember, uh, what, um, and you're at 4.95 for half a meter. I think what happens is both bundles work so well with it, don't they? Let me do the summer. Let me do the summer bundle, first of all. Right, okay. So, um, oh, yes, here we go. Mr. Fox Natural, Pauline, Nicola, Karen, Annie. Oh, glasses. Are you okay, Annie? I was okay, because I put my glasses on. Kathleen, Charisse. Uh, Lucy, Catherine, and Maureen, all in for the Mr. Fox natural fabric. But then look how well both of the bundles go, right? This is the summer. This is the summer bundle. They're called the summer bundle. That's nice. Don't they look lovely? Oh, do, you, do you know what? I'm seeing bedrooms for this one. You know the yellow one? I saw gardens. I'm seeing bedrooms for this one. So this is summer days. Half a metre of each of those fabrics, right? Half a metre of each of those fabrics. 15.95. Biscuit, maize, ochre, pearl blue and teal at 15.95. They're lovely, aren't they? Really good. The thing is, even, even if you didn't... Even if you didn't get the fox fabric, this is going to look lovely as a stash builder, isn't it? So, that's the natural, the most popular. 100% cotton. This is 4 95 Four ninety-five for half a meter, and then that. Look, but don't go anywhere, because then look at with the autumnal. The autumnal one looks lovely with it as well. Look, don't they? Let me take those summer ones out. It's not lovely. It's a bit messy. I made it's not. So you've got foliage, dark green, ivory, chocolate. And Vienna orange in there. Don't they look lovely together as well? So that's the bun. That's this is the this is the bundle. The half a meter of each of the fabric for fifteen ninety five. This one here is Mr. Fox Natural. Natural for at four ninety five for half a meter for half a meter. You buy this on the roll. They're already cut. Right now, somebody's just asked. Somebody's just tuned in. What did you say? Her name was Elaine. Elaine's just messaging saying she missed the um, robot. Is there, are there any robots left? Right, well, we can check for you now. We can check for you right now. Right, hang on a sec. Right, hang on a sec. Here, here's the, here's the um, robot that Joe made earlier. This is brand new today on uh, Sewing Quarter. It's a Joe Carter original, soft toy. Now, it came in four different colorways. This one was called uh, Cream. Right, I'll sh we'll show you the four different, four different uh, bundles. Right, so, oh, there you go. So that's the navy blue one. Graphics coming in. So what you get, you get half a metre of navy blue fabric, fabric with numbers all over it. You get half a metre of the green, half a metre of the yellow, and half a metre of the white. The padding, the instructions, the zip. The, now, that's the only one that you get a white zip in. All the others have blue zips. You get the embroidery thread, you get the eyes, you get six eyes. Aye, 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 aye. And you get two reels of thread for £29.95. So, if you have that in your basket or you want to order that, I've got it. I've, you can guarantee it at the moment. You can guarantee it. There are enough for people all to check out and then there's a few left over. That's the blue one. Right, then we had the... They call this one cream. There's nothing cream about it at all. It's the one that I'm holding here. Now, on my telly, that looks red, you see. But here, the, the one that you're seeing there, half a metre of the orange, half a metre of the robot, half a metre of the blue, and half a metre of the white. With the zip, the embroidery thread. If everybody checks out that, it's exactly sold out. There's one for each of you. But if anyone else comes in or anyone checks out with two, then it's sold out. Right, that's this one I've got hold, I'm holding here. This one I'm holding here. Here he is. That's that one there. That's that one there that you just saw, right? The next bundle is this one. Now, this was uh, white fabric, and they call this one white. Uh, the, uh, white fabric with uh, coloured numbers on it. You get the orange, the navy blue, and the white fabric with it. The zip, the embroidery thread, the thread, the eyes, the padding, and the instructions. If you've got that in your basket, you're fine. But if you all checked out, there'd only be a couple left. There'd only be a couple left. And the last but not least... ...is that one. Now, that's like the circuit board one, right? 
That's the circuit board one. Uh, now, I think this one was the least, we had the least, I think this was the one that was in most danger. You get the circuit board fabric, you get navy, yellow, and white. Right, now that one there, there are more people got it in their baskets than we have got stock. So people will definitely be disappointed if you don't check out. Okay, I've got twice as many people wanting it as there are in the baskets. Twice as many people wanting that that are in the basket. Now, you most probably wondering, what are you doing over there, John? Well, here I am. Uh, this is coming up in the next hour. In the next hour, it is the Kaif Facet Half Moon Quilt. Now, um, Natasha, oh, look at that. Natasha had a, and Paul had a two-hour special of it. They sold out. We've got a few more in. Just a few more, though. Not many at all. Um, what you get in the kit is you get all of the fabric to make that quilt. But not only do you get the fabric to make the front of the quilt, we're also throwing in... No, that's the wrong word. We're also including the wadding and the backing. Now, the backing, it's a 72 by 72 inch quilt, right? The backing is a huge piece of fabric. There's no seams in it or anything. That is just, that's just the backing. Right, now, when you buy the kit, when you buy this kit normally elsewhere, it doesn't come with the wadding and the backing. It doesn't come with the wadding and the backing. We've put it all in one big kit for you. And all, I'll go through it all in the next hour. All these fabrics, all these beautiful, get everything, get everything. But that's next hour, next hour. Let's have another look at that quilt while I walk away. There you go, there you go, that's it. It's called the Half Moon Quilt. And it's meant to have that, that corner's meant to be like that, just so it wasn't a Joe mistake. Right, let's have an update on my Mr. Fox's um, premiere. Actually, yeah, my premieres and my bundles. Let's do the bundles first. Oh, here we go. Both bundles are neck and neck with each other. This is summertime bundle. Aren't they lovely? You get half a metre of each of these fabrics. £15.95 for two and a half metres. They're brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant for stash building and also for blending, aren't they? So, you get biscuit, half a metre. Oh. Oh. I'm just about trying to make it look nice. I tried to hide the bit where Amy had an iron, that was all. This is the maze. That's the maze. This is the ochre. Good morning, John. Love the Mr. Fox fabric. Make great gifts for men. It would, wouldn't it? That's from Nicola in Oxfordshire. Thank you, Nicola. Uh, that's the um, ochre, ochre. This one is the uh, pearl. And this one is the teal. Hang on, I'm just wafting. That's pearl. Oh, look, oh, I know what to do. Let's do this. Let's remember, I think we're in the Casa Poo Poo room. The Casa Poo Poo room in the early 80s. There you go. Oh, oh I love it. Look, 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 look. Um, aren't they lovely? Really, really beautiful. It's the Summer Days bundle, that one. Not Summer Loving Paul, Summer Days. That's wishful thinking on Paul's behalf. Oh, he's feeling all sad today. He says, every day is a sad day. Every day is a fluffy one. What was that? That was an advert, wasn't it? Oh, I've lost Paul. You've gone away, Paul. Oh, no, he disappeared then for a while. I heard you going, ah, getting quieter and quieter. Right, hang on, I'll do that one. I'll fold this one up, sorry. Have uh, we got a still of that one? Just so you don't have to watch me just fold in. I love all those colours. Really, really lovely colours to mix and match there. There we go. Everything you need at £15.95. Five half metre lengths of the 100% cotton spectrum. Uh, that's called Summer Days at £15.95. Right, then this one, very autumnal, I'd say this one was. Not autumnal, autumnal. Not autumnal, autumnal. I don't think you'd find you did. Uh, 
Little Paul's heading for a spanking. Look at the colours. Look at the gorgeous. This, this is the forest. Forest. Uh, chocolate, dark green foliage, ivory and Vienna orange in there. Um, uh, Paul's wearing some trainers today that Forrest Gump wore in the film. It's not the actual trainers, not the actual trainers, but the same. Mind you, wasn't Forrest Gump about 20... Wasn't it, wasn't it about 20 years ago, Forrest Gump, now? There you go, 1994, Paul. You're well into fashion now, then, aren't you, if you just bought them now? They're very bright white with a red and blue design on them. Very unusual shape. And they make him look like... Because Little Paul's only about that tall. Makes him look like he's got the biggest feet in the world. But he likes them. He's worn them twice, and they haven't got a speck of dust or dirt on them or anything. Anyway. Oh, he's worn them four times now, apparently. His niece and nephew got them dirt, and he's really upset by that. Went home in a strop. Right, OK, this is lovely. Autumnal doing movies in 1994. I was in Hollywood then. Oh, no, hang on, 1994, that would have been a Bond film. 1994. Was that, uh, it was. Oh, was it? No, I did, uh, hang on then, 1994, no, 1994, isn't that, um, no, uh, Four Weddings, Four Weddings Funeral, 1994. What's that? Yeah, so if it came out in 95, I'll have been on it in 94, won't I, because it takes a whole year to make. So, Golden I would interview the vampire, was 94. Did I, no, it came out in 94, so I'll have worked on it in 93. <laughs> Ow. Which of these are we doing next, please? Yellow. Mr. Fox Yellow. Who, who does he sound like when he laughs like that? Hey, 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 like that. It's like a cartoon character, isn't it? Anyway, you've been very quiet today on your messages. Just to add loads. I know all I've got is Sash now. I can't hear anything or any person but Sash. Uh, remember, this comes by the half metre. I'll show you what half metre looks like. Wide as well, 54, 56. I'll, I'll measure it again. 56. 56 inches wide. Do what? There we go. Half a metre there. Premier fabric's always, always, always popular. Oh, I'm just, I'm just going to swap this over. Have a look at the fabric while I swap this over. I'll switch it on, shall I? Oh, that's much better. I think it's that pack, because that was the pack that was playing up the other day. Thank you. Four pounds and 95 pence for half a metre. Let's have a look who's got this. I wonder what they're making. Sally, Nicola, Cherise, Kathleen, Sue, Catherine, Lucy, Lynn, Elaine. I wonder what you ladies are making out of this, then. Let me know. I, you see, this yellow one is saying summertime, garden, fresh. Isn't it lovely? I'm a bit confused. Paul said, what happens if they're a multi-buyer? Well, they get lots. Um, a multi-buyer is a person who buys more than one unit. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it's a technical term. Little Paul loves using it. This, the, this yellow... Now I was going to say I thought the O-natural was. This is just overtaken. OK, O-natural was number one. Then this became number one. This is now number two. And the o -nat not, it's not called O-natural. It's just called nat natural. Let's have a look at the Eau Naturelle one. It's a lovely feel to it. It's got a really gorgeous feel to it. That's me, Eau Naturelle. <laughs> I'm sure I had something important to tell you today. I can't remember what it is now. I don't know. No, about me, not about the baskets. <laughs> yes, you do. Little Paul says he doesn't care about me. Everybody. Any complaints, just please send them in. Care of. <laughs> Look. This is the most, not the most natural, the most popular. Don't, it's supposed to be going well today. There's a management meeting going on next door, and I'm supposed to be doing... 
They're all sitting there taking notes at the moment. And do you know what? I hope they haven't cut that cake. We've got a great big cake today. I hope they haven't cut into the cake. Why are you on a diet? Are you? Little Paul's on a diet. He's not having it. Yeah, he says now he's not owning cake. Wait till he gets in there. Is it not chocolate? What flavour is it? Four pounds and 95 pence. If they haven't cut it, I could bring it out. It's really lovely. Four pounds and 95 pence. Mr. Fox natural fabric, this one. Got a message from um, uh, Lucy in Cornwall. I'm going to be making cushions. Hello, John. Oh, why you, which colour have you got, Lucy? Which colour did you get? You see, this one here is saying bedrooms to me. This one here is saying a really, really expect... How, how am I going to say this? There's a, a fabric designer uh, with an and in the middle. It's two people's names, and this is screaming... Os oh, I nearly said it then. No, I nearly said it out loud then. Uh, you know who I mean. Uh, OK, then. It's, uh, you know, Sharon, who's on The X Factor? Yeah, and the opposite of large. I was born in small and never heard of them. What's he like? Um, little. Yes. Yeah, they're really famous. Lucy's message back. Yellow and natural. Oh, Lucy, I love them. Are you going to put them together? Let's have a look. Look at these together. Oh, yes, they look gorgeous together. I like as well because that you've got silver foxes on this one. Not Philip Schofield, not pictures of Philip Schofield on there. He's on holiday. He's on holiday in California at the moment anyway, so we won't be watching. So that one's got the silver fox on. This has got the muted, the muted um, orange, like ginger coloured foxes on that one. They're both lovely. Now, shall I show you the blue ones? Because there's two blue ones and there's a little bit of. Um, Confusion in this one. Well, little Paul, who's colourblind, got it right. That, that shows you how it's right. So this is the blue. That's the blue that they're calling blue, which is a kind of duck egg blue, isn't it? Right? But they're calling this one, which is turquoise. This out of the two, the most popular out of these two is the blue. This one's saying Christmas to me, this one. See, this says Christmas to me, this one. The yellow one, yellow and the natural, I'd say, was summer, especially if you mix them. Where's these? Oh, yeah, acorns are aut autumnal, aren't they? Where's the snow? I can't see any snow. We've got foot oh yeah, footprints in the snow. I wonder what those were. Uh, they're lovely, aren't they? Um, got another massage. Nicola, make oh shush out. I oh, better not say it too loud, Nicola. I don't in case he's watching. Planning on making my partner a wash bag with the blue fox fabric. Oh nice. Are you gonna oh are you gonna oh with I know Nicola. Uh are gonna oh decoat it. You're gonna oh decoat it. We've got some oh decoat somewhere. We should have got it out, shouldn't we really? I could have done a little... Oh! Oh, I know what I was supposed to do. Somebody asked about the fabric yesterday if they could own coat it, and I haven't found out. I will find out for you, I promise. Well, everyone... There was nobody in, was there? They'd all gone home. I've only got Scandi foxes left. We put the linen foxes away. Oh, OK, right. I'll tell you quickly, I said this one was sold out because there were six units and six people with it in their basket. They haven't checked out yet, so if you want this, you can come in and leapfrog, le leapfrog them. OK, all six of them are still in the basket, so if you want this... So that's three metres. Three metres is in the basket. So if you want that, you need to check out. You need to check out. It's nice, though. That's a heavier weight, heavier weight. Now, this one is the Scandi Foxes. Now, it's really... F uh, we couldn't figure out... Well, I'll be honest with you. When we did this last time, we didn't really know... We knew what Scandi was, about the clean lines and everything like that, but we didn't understand what these triangles were. And then yesterday, I had the same fabric in blues and reds and whites, didn't I? And they had these... They didn't have these... Oh, can you see those? Yeah. But they had these. And I was... 
This, no, this one's 100% cotton, this one. This one's 100% cotton, this one. You've got what? Yeah, this one's 100% cotton. The other ones, the um, heavy, heavy ones, they are polyester cotton, but these are 100% cotton. Gillian, I'm loving your nature trail, John, she says. Watching whilst doing the housework. Seeing you takes the pain out of it. Oh, what? Well, don't you like your housework? Now, who was on yesterday? Was it Jo? And she, she loved the only bit of housework she liked was doing the ironing. I know. I know. She said she likes it because you could do that. While you're doing the ironing, you can watch the telly. Whereas when you're hoovering, you can't really watch the telly. Here we go. That's a clever rabbit. Right. A forest bundle. Forest bundle. That, uh, Blondell, thinking of Blondell, the Tim Rice musical, it's opening again in the West End. Right, uh, uh, should we not have a break? We'll just carry on straight through, shall we, little Paul? Uh, it's already there. Forest Spectrum. Plain bundle. So in this bundle, you get chocolate, dark green, foliage, ivory, and Vienna orange. Go on, then. Um, that's lovely, isn't it? I put that with the natural as well. Put that with the natural foxes. Most popular of the fox... Premier fox fabrics today. And that's the most popular. You see, the thing is, you could... I'm talk, we're talking housework... Uh, not housework, household. You could make yourself a nice little unusual frock out of that. Or a little uh, all-in-one. That'd look nice, wouldn't it? If you like foxes, lots of people love foxes, don't they? Uh, I don't think there's enough left for me to make a mere shirt, is there? Yes, there is. At £15.95. Forest... Oh, no, hang on. That's the, that's the forest spectrum there. This is the uh, natural Mr Fox. You can't leave your station. Oh, got another message. Laurie... John, will you please stop having such lovely material? Uh, you are cleaning out my bank account. Oh, I'm sorry, Laurie. <laughs> they are nice, though, aren't they? Did you buy any, did you buy any of these today, Laurie? They're lovely, aren't they? Um, let's do the, the um, summer days. Nearly called, it, nearly called it summer loving, then. Nice. Summer days, Spectrum Solids. <laughs> Biscuit, maize, ochre, pearl blue and teal. Now, Amy's just brought my break food in, which I have mango and watermelon. No, there's no, there's no strawberries today. I've got um, mango and um, watermelon. And, uh, oh, yeah, well, they're not mine. So, uh, anyway, she's opened it and Tim's helping himself to it. And the watermelon. £15.95, this bundle, it's lovely, isn't it? I've just told you. I've just told you what colours were. You weren't listening. Biscuit, maize, ochre, pearl blue and teal. No mango in here or watermelon, no. If it's in your basket, please check out. Remember... Uh, now, the thing is, this is why we ask you to check out, because we don't want anyone to be disappointed. And that's why we brought in the rule of only one post of packaging for the whole day. Um, so you can check out with anything of that now. And then maybe in the next hour, you want a quilt, you could put that in your basket, check out. Then maybe in the... Oh, I've got a lovely little girl's dresses in the last hour. Um, just um, check out as often as you like. You only, at the end of the day, you only pay one post of packaging. Has somebody put the aircon on hot, do you think? It's very, very hot in here. Thank you very much. I'm going to... Right, have a look at the website, www.sewitquarter.com. So this is everything we've shown today. Oh, no, hang on. Why is the icon one still... Oh, that's Scandi, that's Scandi there. So everything on there this is still available. Oh, now, according to that, you've still got a chance to throw, but... Uh, right now, of the um, circuit board, there's one left. There's one left. The cream, which is the one with the robots on it, there are two of those left. Uh, 
The others, you're guaranteed if you check out your baskets, but who knows what happens after that. And then all the fabric, you see the fabrics from this hour? The blue, the a duck egg, the yellow, the natural, the two bundles. And then you've got the, you got the linen, oh, it, oh, you see it's called linen, it's not linen, it's not linen at all, it's cotton. I thought they changed the name of these. It's cotton that looks like linen, it is not linen. Just so you know. Yellow, I'm trying to turn them down. No, it's fine. This is the most popular of all, oh, do you see this goes so beautifully with that, doesn't it? Remember, yours will arrive in a box like this. Living in a box, little box, big box. Oh no, cardboard box, fish. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, 4 95 Not for the box, for the fabric. I'm sorry if I'm confused. So this fabric here is the mist, mixed, mist. This fabric here is the mist. <laughs> this fabric here is the Mr. Fox Yellow. And then this here is the Summer Day Spectrum Solid Bundle, half a metre of each of the five, two and a half metres, for £15.95. pence. All you have to do is dial the number. 0800, I've lost them again. I don't know. 0800 112 4433. is where you go to look at the web. Uh, I've got a message from Andrew. Hello, John. Only woken up, so we have... Oh, what? Oh, I suppose it is only 10 o'clock. Uh, Andrew, we've only just woken up, so we'll have to catch up, catch up with you on YouTube. Lots of love, Andrew and Hillary. Some of us have been work since six, up at four. Alarm goes off at four. I know. Anyway, I'm not complaining. Have you bought these, Andrew and Hillary? Which of these have you bought? The Mr. Fox Yellow. Right, let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. Let's do a recap, because I've got to go. So, let's start at the very beginning. Oops, right. So, let me start off with the Scandi Linen Look Fabric. Yep, that's the only one I've got left now. That's the only one I've got left. I didn't notice the graphics earlier. What does it say in the graphics? Oh, no, I'm really sorry. It's not linen. It's not linen. They promised me they'd change that. It's a linen look fabric. Um, but it's 100% uh, cotton, machine washable, uh, £4.95 for half a metre, at £4.95 for half a metre, OK? It's a linen look. It's like a, it's like a heavyweight linen, but it's a linen look. It's 100% cotton, so it's not real linen. Right, so the fox fabrics, we've got the yellow, first of all, which is... Uh, this and the, the natural have been up in the uh, number one, jostling for number one position. This is Mr. Fox, half a metre. That's half a metre there. Four pounds and 95 pence for half a metre. 100% cotton, machine washable. Beautiful. Then we've got the O Naturel. Coming up next. This is in the lead at the moment. This one's in the lead at the moment. It's nice though, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Um, this one's got the natural... Remember, the yellow one has got the silver fox. This one's got a muted, like, ginger fox on it. Mr. Fox natural fabric, half a metre for £4.95. OK? You can have... The thing is, you can have as much as you want. You don't just have to have half a metre. That's what... These are the fabrics that... We cut them off the roll, off the bolt for you. Next one is blue. So that's the two blues. This one's the most popular. Oh, only by a metre, only by a metre, only a metre in it. Again, this is the blue, this is the blue uh, Mr Fox blue fabric, £4.95. pence For half a metre, for half a metre. Uh, if you're on the web and you want a metre, you just put in two units. Or if you want four, uh, two metres, you put in four units. It's just as simple as that. And then last but not least with the Mr Fox Premier fabrics, this is the duck egg blue. This is called, they're calling this duck egg blue. Now, the, uh, the, 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 um, not, they're not ducks, they're foxes. Are quite bright on this one, on the duck egg blue, quite bright orange. OK, that's 4 95 for half a metre. Then I've got two bundles to show you before I go over. Oh, now I'll do this, yes. 
This, is, this one's called Forest. Chocolate, foliage green, dark green, ivory, and Vienna orange. Uh, that's uh, £15.95. So two and a half metres of fabric, half a metre of each, 100% cotton, 30 degree machine washable. Okay, and then last but not least, this one is Summer Days. Summer, oh no, I was going to start singing Summer Love. It's not Summer Loving, is it? Summer Days. Summer Days, £15.95. Uh, two and a half metres of fabric you got there. Two and a half metres of fabric. Right, if you've missed out on Joe's, uh, um, not Monster, robot, please go to the website. There are, there's um, one of the circuit board left. Or was it one of the circuit board and two of this one? Yeah, two of these left, one of the circuit board, and then the ones with the others. There's, there's enough for people if they check out, then there'll be a couple left. So if you want to do that after the break, we've only got the K-Facet um, a half moon quilt kit. When they, had, oh, when they had it on last time, it sold out. We've got a few back. I've got to go now. Joe's here to show us how to create this beautiful... You get everything. Don't go anywhere. See you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a slip stitch, which is basically a hemming stitch that is almost invisible on both the right and the wrong sides of the fabric. So I'm going to go in through my layers here, through the single hem. I'm going to leave a tail before doing my double stitch here. So I'm just going to go through one, twice there. That's giving me my double stitch or locking stitch, ready to then do my slip stitch. Okay, so first of all, you need to take the smallest amount of fabric. So you want at least one or two pieces of thread in the fabric before then going into the fold of your single hem. And you're gonna run your needle through that fold before pulling it out. And then again, couple of stitches, bearing in mind I'm using a really big needle here because I'm using an embroidery thread, but you get the idea where you're just catching your material there, before again placing your needle in through the fold of your single hem. So you want to keep these as even as possible. I'm just doing my last stitch now. So here you can see that you can't really see the stitches from the back of the piece. So this would be the back of the trouser leg, the bit that you wouldn't see. And then from the front, you should only see very small stitches, if not at all, if you're using the right needle and thread. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Um, a few weeks, well, a couple of months ago now, Natasha and Paul, it's what, when was it? 
Oh, first of April. First of, oh, that's ages ago, isn't it? First of April, Natasha and Paul had a show uh, showcasing this amazing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quilt. It's a cave facet uh, done with uh, Free Spirit. It's a cave facet collective. Um, this is knit. This is just the backing. This is just the backing. Before we start, let me do a quilt kit. Now, if you buy that normally in other places, you'd only be getting the fabrics for the front. What we have included in the kit is all the fabric, which I'll go through in a second, the wadding that you need, and this beautiful piece. Now, it's one piece. There's no seams in it. This is the backing to the quilt. It's beautiful. Now, if you buy it elsewhere, because it says on the instructions, you will need to buy a backing and you will need to buy wadding. And you, not with us, not with us. You will get all of the fabric you need, the instructions you need, which are quite important, which when, when I go over to Joe, we'll go through all of those, to make that or this incredible quilt. That's just the back. That is just the back. Um, look at all this. k Facet Collective material in stripes and in uh, solid colours. Well, they're called shot colours, aren't they? Because they're not exactly... Look at them all. Look at them all. Let me just move that wadding out the way there so you can just have a really, really good look at all of that beautiful fabric. So you get all of these, the planes or the shots, um, all these fabrics. I'll open them out for some of them out for you later on. £275. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, £275, John. A Kaif facet quilt of 72 inches by 72 inches with the wadding and with the backing for 275 pounds i think is a fantastic fantastic fa now also if you're sitting at home going oh i bet that's really really complicated right they actually say it's based on beginner skill level look at all those gorgeous colors i'll go through all of these with you later so many different colors right I just think it's amazing. Now, they sold out. Last time they did the two-hour special on the 1st of April, they sold out completely. I've only got a few today. I've only got a few today. So, um, if you want it, I'd pop one in your basket, definitely, because that, that, I'm not saying it's limited, limited, but they haven't, they've got half as many as they had last time when they did the show last time. Half as many as they had last time. Right, OK, shall we... Um, Get started. There's the there. Now that's the kit. So you get the box. <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? There you go. There's a few pictures there. So there's the instructions. There's the fabrics. There's the backing. All in one piece of fabric. All in one piece of fabric. Now that's that's a nice shit. That, uh, there you go. That's the one I like. That gives you the full impact of it. Now if you're sitting there thinking, oh, Joe's put the wrong. The top corner in the wrong way around. That's the way it was designed. That's the way it was meant to be, wasn't it? It is. Right. When you get the kit home, I'm not going to show that yet. When you get the kit home, you open the box. It's beautiful because it's all in the box. It's all there and everything like that. Really beautiful box it comes in. What's the first thing that you do when you open the packet? The very first thing is identifying which fabric is which. Right. But it's really well laid out in here because you can see... Each, it's got a picture of the fabrics and underneath it tells you how they're, what, it, they're assigned a letter. Can we get close of that so you can see the letters underneath the, um, the letters underneath each of the, because a lot of them are quite similar. Yes. So you just, what you have to do is take your time over this and double check because there are a few greens, there are a few reds, there are a few that are quite similar to each other. But what you do, they tell you on this side, what it is. So let's just, for example, take a M, right? So M there, and M is a broad stripe. It's called subterranean, and you get half, a quarter of a yard of it, 22 point. So they're like, oh, well, they get them all. They're bigger than fat quarters, aren't they? So it tells you what exotic stripe, multi-stripe, alternating stripe. You get all those. So each of them are given a letter. Are there they more are. on that page? There. there are. There are more here. There's even more over here. I'll just move the paper. There's double letters in here. There's even more. Now, they're calling this, their backing is a 44-inch wide there. They're calling theirs the caterpillar stripe. You're not getting the caterpillar stripe. You are getting the most exquisite floral. But as it says here, backing, can you see that there? Purchased separately. Ba yes or no? Backing purchased separately. OK, right, let's get on to the next item. So, yes. We're giving it in our kit, we're giving it to you. That, it's that. It's that beautiful floral. I mean, that on its own would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? You know it is, I mean? because it's an extra wide fabric. You so rarely get much choice in extra wide mm. fabrics, but that is amazing and really beautiful. 
Do you know what? When you've, when you've quilted it, both sides are going to look as gorgeous as each they other, will. aren't they? Really, really beautiful. So, I'm going to sneeze now. You just put new perfume on. No, it's hand cream. Oh, it's sorry. Hand cream, it? No, no, no. It's when my hay fever started. You see, that's all. Uh, right, okay. So, we've got the fabric. So, then you, so you have literally labelled up. I the literally labelled all of them. In fact, do you want to see how much is left over? Because I've cut out all of the squares needed and labelled them up. Oh, you mean there's fabric left over? <laughs> yeah. Because you th you'd think in a kit that. It... This is the fabric, so it's still labelled up. Right. So this is what's left over as well. So not only can you do the quilt, you get so much fabric in the kit. All of that's left over. All of this I have had left over. You see, yet. now, this, see, this is where I think it's odd. Normally, when you do or you buy a kit elsewhere, you will get exactly the amount of fabric yeah. that you need, and you have to be really careful how you cut it, which is why we, in our kits, we always put extra fabric in, because we know mistakes happen, we know. But to get K facet, and that much, look at, look at that, all of that, and that is all left over. Oh, my word. So I keep one out, too. OK, these now, are I don't, I'm sorry, I don't want to put any pressure on anybody. But a third have already gone into baskets. A third have got to go into baskets. A third have already gone into baskets. If you do want it, please check out. Please check out. Because last time, lots of people missed out. A lot of people missed out. I'll tell, I'll tell you what happened last time. Um, in the first hour, a lot of people came in right at the beginning. I'm having it, I'm having it, I'm having it. And then there was a quiet lull while you were doing your sewing. And then at the end of the two hours, and Natasha was saying, just 10 minutes left, just 10 minutes left, suddenly there was this rush of people put, put, Now, we've only got an hour this time, and I've got half as many this time. So I'm only telling you what happened last time. Just... Be, it's that thing about disappointment, isn't it? If you want it, because we've had to struggle. We've had to struggle to get this back for you. So we'll, we'll, get, a move, we'll get a move on now. But if you've got... The third, third of the stock has gone into baskets already. If you do want it, please make sure you check out. Right. Oh, half the stock is now in the baskets. And we haven't even, <laughs> we haven't, we've only labelled up so far. So if you... Ugh. Anyway, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated. So you've taken all those fabrics like we've had over there and you've labelled them up A, B, C, D. Now, is there more than... Is there just one of each of, each of the... So if there's only one A, there's only one B, there's only one C in the, in the kit? Yes. So I think... Is it 52 fabrics? It says on the... OK. Um, I, I'm ever so sorry. Even more people have put it in the basket. We're getting to the stage where people... If you check out... Right, if everyone checks out, there's only one left. If everybody checks out now, there's only one left. <laughs> Come on, Joe, <laughs> let's get going. <laughs> See, uh, sorry, what were you saying? The key for this is definitely organisation, keeping track of which fabric is which. Yes. You don't want to get into a situation where you think, oh, I need this fabric now, and which one is it? And there's a couple that look similar. So definitely keep them. I've even kept my leftover bits labelled up. Yes, in case I want to even the left, they're your leftover even, bits. These are my leftover yeah. bits, yes. Um, so through the... You put A, B, C, D, you put them all out, you all put out. all everything out, and then the first instruction is you need to get A, D, G, J, L, O, Q. So all of those, you then went, right, I need that one, I need that one, I need that yep. one. Took those to one side, and then fab those fabrics there, you put in another pile, and because you've got to cut different sizes, is that right? You need more squares of some fabrics than others. OK. So, yes. Put them together and cut them out, and it's done. It's really... It is a beginner's quilt, I think, because it's just... It's squares, and it's piecing squares together, but because of the stripes, when you look at the overall quilt, it, you lose the look of squares. It looks so much more complicated. Oh, I, so much I, I keep, I keep, I keep looking, looking, <laughs> looking over there to show... Uh, sorry, little Paul. Right, if everybody who's got it in the basket checks that now, people will miss out. Right? OK, at the moment, three people are going to be disappointed. If you all try and check out, three people will be disappointed. If you want it, please check out. If you want it, please check out. We're going to carry on doing the display. There it is. That's the finished piece. 72 by 72 inches. That's the front. We've also included the backing fabric there. And you get the wadding, all for £275. Right, so, let, let's just read this. Let's just see. So, it says here, fabric A. So, say we've picked up fabric A. Oh, no, let, this that's, is O. This, that's so o. tell you what O. Oh, where's O? Right, in O, we need to cut two, three and a half inches by the width of fabric. Right? That's yes. right, isn't it? So, that's three, is that three and a half inches there? No. So, I'll cut... Oh, OK, sorry. And first of all, you want to straighten up 
the edge oh, okay, you work yes. from. So I'll just leave the label there. So this, don't rely on their cutting then? The, the, no, I always make sure I've straightened the edge. And because they're woven, see this one? Yes. Oh, yes, it's all over the place, that one. Because it's a woven fabric, you can use the stripes actually to help you line up. I'll keep it in half. OK, so if it's woven and it's a striped fabric, you know the stripe, if it's a well-woven fabric, you know the stripe is going to be straight. The stripe is the weave, yes. Yeah, but if you print it, if it's printed, yes. you can't guarantee that it's on the straight. No. So these are woven? These are woven. OK. So you've got this on the fold, so that's the width of the, yeah, that's the width of the fabric. Yeah, so it's but on I'll the just show, you see, look, look, it's not, oh, it's such beautiful fabric, isn't it? You see, that, my childhood, I, I just loved colours like this, you know what I mean? It's just those... They're just so summery. ...joyous colours, yeah. aren't they? So, sorry, I'll, you carry on. So I'll fold it, fold it over just because it's easier to cut in yes. half, make sure it lines up. So to cut them out, it's cutting three and a half inch with the fabric strips yes. and then subcutting them in. So oh, down, yes, so I was going to come to that. So, so you cut uh, two three and a half inch strips, the width of the fabric, and then, so is that what you're doing now? That's what I'm doing now. That's yeah. the rule of the so right we'll do the, um, we'll do it as, like, the instructions say. I can use that. Oh, you can see how not straight that is, can't you? When you, when you put it there... You can. You can see that that's, not, that, that that's how it comes in the kit. It's not straight at all, but... OK, it's done. It's done away from the table. So that edge you're just straightening off. So using, just... Are you using the stripe of the weave, then? I am. I've made sure the edges all line up. But, yes, because it's woven, you can use that. Yeah. Move that. And then I'm going to carefully turn this round because I want the edges to still line up. Oh, so now from the cut edge that you've done, you'll measure three and a half inches in. That's right. So I've got the... Um, make sure that follows. Oh. oh, I think the camera's falling apart. What was the lens fell out of... Um, Timothy's glasses. And I always do one, two, three and a half. Oh, you do? I always yes. check. Yes, <laughs> the thing is, they say, especially on a project like this, measure twice, cut C once. Don't absolutely. They? Yeah. There I'm just go. being quiet while she cuts because it's concentrating. Oh. Uh, remember, it comes in the kit form. It comes in the kit. You get the backing, the wadding. Uh, they, they just look at all the pictures. Look at all the quick pictures there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Half moon quilt. It's just stunning. Because all the fabric's there. So you have to label all those fabrics up. And then um, that's the backing. I just think, I think the, backing's, the backing's absolutely gorgeous. We include the backing in the kit with the wadding. And then, look, that's the finished product. Now, I was going to tell you what it was by centimetres. Definitely 72 inches square, which is 182.88 by 182.88 uh, centimetres. Now, don't think you're going to make it in a day. Don't think it's going to be made in a day, because no. it's not, is it? It says here, crafting time based on beginner skill level. It's piecing, technique is piecing, skill level beginner, crafting time longer term. But you want to take your time on something beautiful you do. as this, don't you? Is Remember, it... whole kit, 275. Right. It's a real heirloom piece. Also, one of the fabrics in there, TT. Yes. I think it's TT. There's more of it because this is the binding. Well, I noticed that at the back. There's a yellow and green stripe and that colour, like a plum colour, where there's a bigger piece of that. So that must yep. be for other things. Or, yes, you can... Oh, wait. why do I keep pointing there? It's not there, John. It's not <laughs> there. On the actual quilt, you can see the, um, the binding around the edge is this lovely plum colour. There you go. You see, like, the plum colour around the edge. That's the binding. I'm not quite sure why you get extra of the... Um, Green and yellow stripes. I'll go and check that one out in a minute. I think it's because H features a lot in it. So whether, just to make sure you don't run out. Yes. Uh, now, uh, please check out, please check out. At the moment, uh, it, it's guaranteed, there are more people who got it in the basket than there are, but people aren't checking out. So if you check out now, we understand it's a considered purchase. We understand that completely. But, well, the, I say that, right? But if you go to a craft fair, and people have made... I mean, I love quilts. I absolutely adore quilts, handmade, patchwork and quilts and everything. 275 is 
not a considered purchase for a quilt, is it? I know that that other person has stitched it and made it, but if you were to go to a craft fair and buy a quilt, a double quilt like that, yeah. I would think that it would be an awful lot more than £275. Yes. And this is a K-Facet Cave Classic Collectives, you know what I mean? So it's it's just I just think it's gorgeous. And then also, look at the look at the backing. Look at the backing. You get all of that back. Oh, there it is. There it is. Right. Okay. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Okay. So I'm going to subcut this now. So now it then says subcut it, doesn't it? So you've you've cut the three and a half inch strips with the fabric. Then you have to subcut twelve three and a half by three and a half inch squares. They, it's in centimeters as well. If you want to work in centimeters. So I'm just going to take off. The edges there, and then just work along and cut off as many. And it tells you how many to cut. Twelve, please. Twelve. You want twelve? But you've only cut one. That's only one strip. You have to cut two strips of it in the first place, don't you? Because it there says. Yes. Some you only need the one strip, and it's where sometimes if it says I can't remember which group it is, but one it says cut two strips, and actually you can get them out of one if you cut them. Oh, okay. Also, so we'll double check that, double check that. Because the thing is, if you've got all that fabric left over, imagine what else you could make for the room with the extra fabric. Do you know what I mean? If you've got a dressing table or a cushion or a, anything. Why would you have a mat in your bedroom, Paul? Paul's got coasters and mats in his bedroom, apparently. You said, you said mat? Um, I forgot what we'll say. What did Paul say to me before that? Kit, uh, um... Oh, you can make a mini quilt, make a mini quilt out of it. Beautiful, but I just think you could make, or you know, you could do EPP with little bowls and things like that. It's all the K Facet Collectives fabric, remember, done with Free Spirit. We've had K Facet Collectives uh, Fat Quarters, haven't we? This is all the fabric is from his Classic Collectives range. Right, so we're then cutting three and a half, are, are most of the squares th three and a half inches? They're all, they're all three and a half inch squares. But oh, okay. But when you look at it, it doesn't look like that because the, because of the stripes. No, of they... course. I've only got this. Uh, uh, well, I don't even want to look at this. Or Paul wants to get his um, because when you, if you see when it's put together, it doesn't look like they're all the same size squares, does it? Look because of the like you've got stripes going in different directions. It'll tell you exactly. It tells you the interest. that way you're going to get the look that he wants. If you start messing around with them. It's fine, it's yours, you can do what you like with it. But I just think he's a designer, he's done the balance, he knows where the colours are, he knows where the shapes are. So I would follow exactly all of his, whichever way his straps are going, I would do the same, wouldn't you? And because you're twisting the, the blocks, they're all, they're at the same block, but they move around to create this sort of diamond. Yes. So you get these, they're vertical in these two sections but then horizontal in yes. there too. So you do so get that, that. Would you call a block the whole of the quarter of a quilt? Yes. So, so it's got four blocks in it, hasn't it? This It's it got is. that block, it that has. block, that block, and then this one, which they flipped, haven't they? So there you go. So you can see that's three blocks. The, quarter, quarter, the three quarters of that are three different blocks. And then the top right-hand one is the same block. It's, so if you were to twist that top block round, it would look the same, it would match in, it wouldn't would. it? But he's just twisted, because you can see in the top right-hand corner, the two yellows and the white that would then fit into the middle of the section, wouldn't you? Would. Uh, right, now I've got a stock warning, I'm afraid. Foot. Right. OK, I've got twice as many people... I've got twice as many people now who've got it in their basket than we've got qu quilt kits, than we've got stock. Let me just tell you. Leslie, Leo, Jill, Judith, Angelina, Claudia, William, Sheena, Cynthia and Joanne, you're all fine. But Marilyn, Lynette, Maria, Susan, Sarah, Linda, Jacqueline, Claudia, Marie, Mary, please be careful. Please be careful. Right, let's carry on. Let's carry on. So we've cut lots and lots of three and a half inch squares. Yes. Did we need 12 of those? You needed 12. Yeah, That's I've what got... it said, 12 of those. So I got them out of that. Oh, OK. So now this is interesting because it said in the instructions, cut two strips of the width of the fabric and then cut out 12. But you've got all 12 out of one strip. I so did. this is where you need to double check because then that other strip of fabric will still be on the main piece of fabric for you to use to do something else. Oh, do you know what? All the different... You can make a lovely lampshade. You could. Or, or, and like, or you know, like... Not that I've been in Joe's bedroom, <laughs> but Joe, Joe's got... You wouldn't hang that on the wall because that'd be too big, but you could do like a mini version... You could. ..and have it hanging on the wall behind, couldn't you? That'd look great. Oh, that'd be nice. Anyway, or if you just did the, one of the blocks. You just did one of the blocks, so it's just a quarter, just somewhere. 
you can make a little mat out of it. You know the mat when you step out it? Well, I haven't got them, but posh people have them. When you step out the bed, there's a little mat, <laughs> isn't there? Have you got them? No, no. I've, I've got children's <laughs> books and things on the floor Oh, <laughs> we should never have a messy bedroom bed feng shui. Oh, is it? Don't have messy bedroom or a telly. How much would my life improve then? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, have a quick look at the backing. I love the backing. For, I absolutely love the backing. For, it's, I mean, the, the finished quilt is uh, 72 inches by 72 inches. That's one piece of fabric there. There's no, there's no seams in it. It's one. And how often, like you were saying, normally if you get a wide fabric like that, it's sheeting, isn't it? And it's yeah. either white or pale pink or pale blue or very rarely do you get such a sumptuous and it's a gorgeous fabric as well really really lovely fabric okay so what are we doing next then so i have all the squares labeled up yep and so then... it really is you do really have to be super organized don't yeah. have me wittering away in the background while you're doing this really really super organized to do it it, yes, that, yes. Is, that is the key. <laughs> you're trying to <laughs> say that nicely. <laughs> I was just thinking, how am I going to answer that without telling you, shut up, John? <laughs> OK, so you've cut, you've cut them all out. So you've got hundreds and hundreds of squares then. Because you've cut out enough for the whole quilt, not just for one I've done the whole block, quilt, yes. It's the whole quilt. So then it says here, sewing. Is that next sewing? That's the next step. I use a quarter of inch seam allowance. Oh, do you want me to turn it around? I can't read it with a turn it around there. Use a quarter of inch seam allowance throughout. So all the pieces with the right sides together and the raw edges even using matching thread. So did you change your thread on your machine all the way through? No, because the colour varies so much, I just stuck with a neutral sort of cream thread. Oh, OK, fine. Following the block layout, which we'll show you in a moment, on page five, uh, for the placement, so the three and a half inch squares together in 12 rows of 12 squares each. So that gives you one block, 12 by yes. 12, doesn't it? All striped fabrics are placed horizontally to start with. Press all seams open, make a total of floor, floor four blocks. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So then, I'm just reading out. Now Joe can tell you how to really do it. <laughs> so you well, there's loads of you, there's so many of you putting in your basket. Please, please, please be careful. Right. So this is your plan to work from for placing the squares? For one quarter. For one. One yes, block. one quarter one of block, the quilt. Yeah. I've done this one already and this one. I'm just finishing sewing this one on. So I've done the first two. So the next right. one. OK, so on the block, that YY, is that the cream one in the middle? The bluey one. Oh, is it blue? Oh, yeah, bluey. Like a duck egg blue, isn't it? A really pale. Pale, pale duck egg blue. So that's your scent. Oh, I keep... I'm ever so sorry. I keep turning to point <laughs> to the real thing over there. Can we just see the picture of the, of the, the real thing? Oh, here. Oh, yes. So this... Is this the duck egg blue one here, then? Oh, yes, because that one would be duck egg blue if it wasn't... Too... So it is. that there is the duck egg blue one, which is called YY. Then this one here is called UU. That's UU. But the reason it's not here and here is because that block has been twisted round. Then what's that yellow one there? VV. VV. You see what I mean? So that's, how, that's what you're making. So basically, the instructions, you're making one of those, four, four of those. You're making four of these going round. OK, uh, Paul, sorry. Uh, Kirsten sent an email in. Oh! <gasps> no, Kirsten's made hers. Right, hang on a sec. So that's half of it. No. Right, OK. That's Kirsten. She's done half of it, right? She's halfway through doing the top, right? She said she's cut them all out. She's realised there's enough fabric, she thinks, to make a whole other top. And she's really, really excited about what she's thinking they're going to make with the rest of the fabric. You see, so, really, £275, you're going to get the whole of this quilt plus enough fabric to make the top top of another one. You won't get enough, have enough wadding or backing because that's obviously... How br... You see, that... I have to say, maybe we should have measured that because that looks bigger than I it think is, the quilt's going to be. Much bigger. You will have quite a bit left over from that too. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Uh, right, OK, OK, sorry. So, so you've started here at YY. Let me turn it around that way around. You've t started that. So this is the centre, YY, and then this is the block. And you've got all the letters of each of... Y, Y, U, U, V, V. Uh, and then we'll just go to U, W, W. Um, oh, right. Nicola, hello both. I can't believe the value of this kit. I bought a table runner, get this, exactly the same fabrics by Cave, and it cost me £88, plus, 
Poacher back for a table runner. For a table runner. Thank you, Nicola. Right, I've got a stock update. I've got a stock update. I don't know how to tell you. I know. Are all the others checked out then? Right, I need to check out. If everybody, but no, if everybody checks out now, five people are going to miss out. Five people are going to miss out if you. I don't want to add any pressure. I really, I'm not adding any new pressure. I promise. Uh, you know, you know what I mean? Until you confirm in your basket, until you check out, it's not yours. It's not yours until you check out of your basket. Right. So I've started with this right, one. Okay, so let's just have a look then. So we've got. So we've got. Y, Y there. U, U there. V, V there. Hang on, I've done that right. W, W there. E, E there. Now the colours in this, in this, don't replicate these exactly. So don't be frightened if you sort of think, oh, that should be brown, that one there. You know what I mean? It's just, just follow the letters, follow the letters. So you've done from the centre out. So this is like a quarter. This is like a fat quarter, really, of the... Yeah. When you finish this, like a fat quarter, isn't it, of the whole thing. Um, and all the stripes are all going in the same direction. All horizontally. Yes. Although, I, I don't know, it's because it, within the sections, it's sort of... They blend into one, it stops yeah. looking like squares and almost rectangles. But that's why I'm saying he's designed it for a reason. Yeah. So if you want to mess around with it, it's yours totally. You can do whatever you want with it. But he... He's a very, very clever man. He knows about colour. He knows about uh, um, pattern and things like that. So they will have been placed... He won't have just gone, oh, I'll just bung this one here, but it will all... Be... I bet you any money it was done on the computer as well. I bet you any money to start with. And then he played with it and just looked at it, like Lucy does with hers and, well, you do with yours as well. But you know what I mean? Kind of just laying them out, laying them out, getting exactly right. Right, so you've done two... <laughs> so, and to keep track of where I'm up to, yes. I've put either a piece of paper or the rule on there. So I'm, I'm working on this row now. And they're in, hopefully, alphabetical order. So I need an M first. Give me an M. M. Oh, I, <laughs> M. So you're starting here. So there's an... Oh, oh no. So there's... You see, I think, you see, this is why you have to follow his pattern, because look at that one and that one together. They're obviously from the same family, aren't they? But that's a narrower strip with a green, and that one's a... a, a you know what I mean? So he's done... So what letter needs to be here? CC needs C -C to be next. here. CC next. Well, you see, this is the kind of project I'd really enjoy, because I'm a little bit, um, kind of... I don't want to use the, the words I was going to use, but I'm a bit, you know, kind of... Um, oh, look, your robot kit's down there for 29.95 as well. Um, I like all this... Organ I like organisation. I like sorting yeah. things out. So I'd be quite happy to sit here and put all these... And then you could sew them together and I could pass them to you, <laughs> that kind of Always thing. Always have it done in no time. Well, we are now. We're in two strips. <laughs> We'd keep stopping to chat, wouldn't we? Or we keep stopping to talk about something else. Oh. There's A. So, what was that one? Was that...? That's A. Oh, OK. Yeah, OK. So then I've got... Ooh. Oh, so Sorry. keep your ruler in place. Sorry. Your bat wing sleeves. <laughs> then you want NN. NN here. So it says, if you've got them all labelled up, this bit is so much easier. Yeah. Also, uh, I'd have them all out, out. You know, you've got them in, in piles, piles, you know. Um, look at this. I mean, it's just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Little Paul just keeps going. Amazing, amazing. It's 72 inch square. 72 inch squares. Right, yeah. Yeah, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and measure the backing. Do you want to come with me? Because it's vast. Now, the finished piece, right, is 72 inches. I'll have to do it this way around, so I hope I don't pull this all off now. Um, right, let's just have a quick look at this then. This could be a bit boring telling because I've got my back to you, but I'm just going to measure the width of this fabric. You see? It's beautiful. Look at the way it's... I mean, just look at the way it's wafting, right, in our um, air conditioning. OK, that's 60. It's vast, isn't it? 60. Right, OK, so 72. That's where, that's as big as your quilt's going to be, from there to there. Then you've got all of this. Ooh, be careful, John. You've got all this left over. 
You've got all that left over if you're going to do a mini quilt or something like that. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Now, it feels, it's, it's obviously 100% cotton, but it almost feels satinized, this, doesn't it, Joe? It's got a kind it of does. satin feel to the top of it. I just think the colours are beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You see, it's almost, it's almost a shame to have that on the back, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's just because I know people will see the back, but you could make a, oh, it's reversible, obviously, but you know what I mean? I like to have a quilt on the bed and fold, <coughs> fold it back so you do get... Oh, I do that with my duvet. <laughs> it's only me there and I do it like a hotel bedroom. I, put, I make the bed and I put the duvet on and then I turn the corner down like that. And I think, it's only me coming up here later. Do you so, in the kit, you are getting everything you need to make this beautiful cave facet quilt. You get... Well, that's not a very good picture because it's just showing a box, isn't it? You're getting all the fabric you need to make it... Well, to make two... You can make two fronts under your set, didn't they? Two fronts. There's all the fabric you get. You get the wadding. You get the backing, which is that, which is just beautiful, isn't it? Um, and then that's it. That, that's it. Oh, there you go. There's the finished thing. There's the finished thing. It's called uh, Half Moon. Half Moon, that's called quilt. Uh, and then, literally, it's all about... It's all about stitching the squares together, isn't it? That's from now on. So it's not it a... But the thing is, we're saying, well, it's not difficult, but it is, because you've got all those corners. Not, not difficult, but you've got to be precise, haven't you? Yeah. With your quarter-inch seam allowance. Yes, John, she said. Yes. <laughs> what number Sorry, are you? I'm... What letter are you w, looking w. for? W, W. So I just went U and V, V, no. And then I... Why are they all in different piles, then? They're in alphabetical order. Oh, OK. Oh, I see. They're the double letters over there, are they? They are. You... You've got enough room. And Vivi, you... Oh, yeah. Remember last time we did this... Oh, well, Natasha, I haven't done this before. I've, I've never seen it before. I watched it. Never seen it. It looks even better in real life, just so you know. Um, sold out. They sold out last time they did it. OK, we'll just carry on talking. They're just sorting something out, and I'll tell you in a second. You carry on sewing. OK. And when have you got a quarter inch? Sorry, you've got a quarter inch uh, foot on your machine, or I you... have. I put the quarter yeah. inch foot, which makes it so much easier because it's sort of a, almost like a curb, and you know yes. you're following the quarter inch, nice and precise. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Right. Two, four, six, and eight, did you... ten, twelve. Definitely got the right so number. Because it's twelve by twelve by twelve by twelve by twelve, isn't it? It is. Did you do you sew in any particular order? Does it matter which end you start sewing from? No, start, start from <clears> one <throat> end and just work the way across, that's... OK, now, he says, make sure you're sewing right sides together. Is it easy to tell which... The, because I like this side, right? But that's obviously the back... Is that the back side? Because that's quite bold, that one on that side. Do you know what I mean? I pin them all together with the right side facing up. Oh, OK. So, that's... But, to be but honest... Look, but look, I'm just going to talk about this one, right? Oh, hang on, I've got to get a message from Little Paul before I go on with this one. Right, on the website, it's saying sold out. But there are a couple left. So ring the call centre, ring the call centre. For some reason, the website said it's all sold out, but apparently there are a couple left. So if you want it, dial the phone, ring the phone number, 0800-112-4433. What I was saying was, you see this fabric here? On that side, the stripe's quite bold, but very, um, uh, not flat, matte, right? But on that side, which you'd expect to be the wrong side of the fabric, where you're seeing the shopped fabrics come through, I quite like it on that side as well. So it sort of doesn't really matter. It doesn't really which matter. Which side you use, does it? You certainly wouldn't notice no, in no. a finished quilt if... As long as you've got all the stripes going in the same direction, that's the important thing. That's the key. Oh, um... Oh, it is sold out, John! Oh, hang on, Anne. <clears throat> I'm sure the backing must measure 108 inches. I love K Facet. Thank you, Anne, my love. Um... That, that it's sold out on the web for some reason. You can't buy it on the web, but if you ring the call centre... So, Anne, ring the call centre if you want it. 0800 112 4433. So, right, little Paul's, little Paul's machine is telling him that there are a couple left, right? But on the website, it's saying sold out. So please give the call centre a ring if you want one, because, well, we should ring the call centre and ask them what they think, really, shouldn't we? We're going to do that. We're going to do that now. I'm not doing it. Little Paul's going to do it. I haven't got my phone with me. Don't bring my phone with me on this show. I don't want to use your phone, thank you. I don't know what I'll catch in my ear from that. OK, right, do some sewing then. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't reverse at the ends of the seam. I don't reverse backwards and forwards. One is, is not really necessary because when you join them, 
you're sewing over the ends of the seams. Yes. So just use a shorter stitch length. I'm going for about 1.8, so oh, okay. two mil, around right. about that. So you don't have to do the reversing at the beginning and the end? No, because that can sort of chew the fabrics. Oh, ever so slightly and just tighten it up and you want to uh, yes. keep it as free as possible. Also, I know to, if you were making this for real at home and you've done the top row and then do the second row, would like you've done here, would you sew so, the second row to the top row straight away or would you actually have got 12 rows? I would just in case they, they became out of order. Yeah just to make sure they're definitely... And also, because, like, um, if you were to make it... Obviously, you're not going to make it in one day. Would you, when you... Say you finish for the day and you go out, you know, go to bed, whatever, would you put a label up here saying top left-hand corner or something like that? Because if you took that and then rolled it up like that and put it in your sewing basket till next week, when yes. you come back next week, you'd be like, oh, which one, which one was which? Do you have a label? Or do you, are you able just by looking at the pattern and then looking at this? You could work it out by looking at the <coughs> pattern, but it's probably easier to label it up, just yeah. so you know. That's just me you... being, you know... I have a cat. Over fussy. Well, well, I've got cats. These would all be all over yeah. the house by the time, you know. I've got that right. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> are you sure? I'm positive. Um... I mean, we've got 20 minutes left this year, hasn't it flown by? Uh, if you've got it, uh, if you want it, they're saying on the website it's sold out. Oh, well, they're just ringing now to find out what's happening. I, I won't make a statement until I've done that. Have a look at the wafting. Um, I love that backing fabric. I mean, as if the quilt itself wasn't enough. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Did you see how big those flowers were? I'll just put my hand into shot, right? So you can see how big that, look. Big, big, gorgeous flowers, aren't they? OK, we're just checking, we're just checking, we're just checking. Ooh. And uh, did you say it was sold out on the web or did you speak to the call centre? Oh, Little Paul's talking to them now, so it's fine. They'll be like, Little who? I haven't got you on the register, Little, Mr Paul, Mr Little Paul. Nice. I could just stand here watching you sewing all day, really. It's that nice, you don't have to think, once you've laid them out in the correct order, you, don't, you can sort of switch off your mind a little <laughs> bit. And it's that sort of nice Do you find it thing. therapeutic? Because I, oh. I know hand stitching is very therapeutic. Because when I used to bead all those bodices at the Royal Ballet, I'd find I could sit there for hours and hours and hours just beading bodices. But, and I loved it, it relaxed me totally. But. Yes, I have specific projects that I will do to relax. And machine sewing is one of them, is it? Well, Something nice. Way, I like I like repetitive sewing. Right, okay, got an update for you now. Oh, okay, he's got to go do no more checking. Oh. Lovely this, isn't it? Just watching Joe. So it's quite nice. The thing is, everyone, people think, talk, 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 talk. You don't need to talk. This is lovely and peaceful. And because it's out being real life, I'd be like, do you want a cup of tea now? Do you want a ball bomb with your tea? <laughs> What's your favourite biscuit? Um, oh, I don't know. I... Oh, is it too? I, I've not. It's too big a decision to make. Uh, <laughs> but okay, when you go to the supermarket. When you go to the supermarket at the beginning of the week and you do your big shop, what biscuits do you put in your trolley? Jammy Dodgers. Oh, do you? Oh, I love a Jammy Dodger. Oh, yeah. no, they're too dry for me, Jammy Dodgers. Oh, and like a child, I still leave the jam in the centre till the end. What, you nibble all round? <laughs> oh, you... oh, they're not for the children, then, they're for you. Um, the children have their biscuits as well. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm just going to carry on watching this. Do we, have we had an update? Do we know what's happening? OK. I want the call centre say. Oh, so they're sold out then. OK, if you're watching the repeat, ring the call centre. <laughs> no, 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 that's what I'm saying. At the moment, there's, no, there's none. But if you're watching the repeat at 8 o'clock tonight and you think, oh, I'd like, oh, he said it's sold out, just ring and check. Just ring and check. It won't be 8 o'clock, will it? It'll be um, 22... Whatever. Be 20 to something, won't it? Right, I've got a couple of K facet books. Oh no, well, I'll let you carry on stitching and I'll just talk about the books. Is that all right? Okay, yeah. I might go over there. I might go over there to talk about the books just because your sewing machine's a bit loud. I'll okay, be back, can I, I press when, when I've done this? Oh yes, the iron's can on. I... The iron's okay, on. Okay, thanks. Right. 
<coughs> I just want to stand over here with this lovely backdrop, you see. It's lovely. It's like, like you know, when you're on a red carpet and you have your picture taken, you've got a bit of a backdrop behind you. Right, which one? Oh, which one do you like, Mr. Two? Uh, oh, now. So, I've got Sweden, Morocco and Provence. Which is the one that's missing? Oh, it's, oh, the Italy one's lovely, but we've seen the Italy one before. I've never seen these before. Uh, let's do Sweden first, because I quite like the stripes on the front of this one. These are K-Facet books that we've got. We'll go back to Joe, I promise you. I promise you we'll go back to Joe in a minute. These are K-Facet quilts in Sweden. Nine, these, are, these books are... Do you know what? Let me just put all these together. These would look lovely on your coffee table, look. Wouldn't they? Wouldn't they look lovely on your coffee table there? Just beautiful. Just sit those... Sit, all, all. Right. So these are quilts in Sweden. I've never seen this book. They've surprised me with it. Introduction. Oh, I love all... The, oh, look. Now, they're, they're the, we've seen that fabric before, haven't we? We've seen some of these. Oh, look, we've seen these. We had these in the K-Facet Collectives, didn't we? Uh, it's just a beautiful... Look, look how beautiful... You see, the photographs are just incredible, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. I would want the whole set of these. How much are they? 19 95 I'd like the whole... Oh, look. The, I'd like the... Oh, look, 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 look. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, he's so clever with his colours, isn't he? Uh, this, this book, I could just sit and look at this book. They're lovely, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. So this is like... Oh, you see, I like the, I like the settings that he puts them in as well. Um, this is the book in... This is the... Um, oh, that's called Barcode, that one. Don't put your phone by it. It might bring up um, Rachel the Ruler or something on that one. Look at that one. Striped City. Yeah, they have sold out. They've sold out. The quilts have sold out. The quilts are sold out. But you can get a book. Just want to bring you a bit more cave. I mean, we're going to go back to the sewing. We're not one of those channels where, oh, it's sold out. We'll move on to something else. We will go back to Joe in a second and, and talk more about the actual making of it for those of you who've bought it. So if you've got leftover material, get one of these books. Look. That's like, oh, parquet flooring. Now, um, that's lovely, isn't it? My friend Pam, she's having parquet flooring, putting her house in her Harborn home. That's lovely. They're just beautiful. So that's the Sweden. That's K Facet Sweden. Italy's arrived here. Now, you've seen this one before. You've seen this one before if you watch my show. This town where these were photographed, um, producer Hannah's been there. And when we were showing it to last time, she said, oh, I've had a coffee there. Oh, I've sat on a beach. I've sat at a beach up there. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? On the Imagine having it on the bed when you have people to stay and you put the quilt out and you put this open on the bed for them to read that night. Aren't they lovely? Oh, that's nice. This one's $22.95. The Italian book's $22.95. I love... Oh, oh. Now, look at that one. He likes his quarters, doesn't he? I, don't, I can't say that. Chia Roscuro. Can anybody speak Italian? Chiaroscuro. Chiaroscuro. I should know Italian because my, all, my godchildren are Italian. Serafina and Luciano. I can do that one. Golden strips. I can do that one. Do what? Oh, it's a Baroque pinwheels. I think, oh, oh, look at that. It's like beach huts. Cassetta. Cassata. No, it's not cassata. That's a drink, isn't it? So, so if you've got fabric left over, if you've got the kit, or if you've got a stash of fabric, you can make any of those. Beautiful. That's Italy. I'm going to go through that. Morocco. Oh, I had a brilliant time in Morocco. I filmed, I filmed uh, part of Being Human with Robin Williams in Morocco, and I've done two films in Morocco. I can't remember what the other one was. No, we did, Angelina and I didn't go to Morocco. We went to Cambodia to get that. Pinewood Studios, Iceland, and... I think that was it. That's all, I'm afraid. Uh, we went to Anchor Watts together. Look at those shoes. This is nice, isn't it? Look at the colours. How much is this one? 18... Oh, they're all different. I wonder why they're all different prices. This one's £18.45. pence. 
Are you waiting for me, Jo? No, I'm... I'm I've got one more I'm book. tempted to get a book. <laughs> Which one would you like? When's your birthday? September. Oh, I use that. I ask you that all the time, don't I? <laughs> oh, look at that lovely backdrop to me. I think we should have something like this all the time. I, I think I might look younger with that backdrop. When we do the John Scott Haberdashery shop, we should have something like that. Hang I might make something with applique on it. Right, and then last, Quilts en Provence. There was that TV series, wasn't there, about um, that family that moved to Provence. Oh, look, they're just exquisite, aren't they? This one's 1995. I think I have to have a word with the K Facet office. Get, keep all the books the same. I suppose it depends on the price of the ticket, where it's gone. If we did an Australian one, it'd be a bit more expensive, wouldn't it? They're lovely. Oh, look. They're so... They're gorgeous, aren't they? Just beautiful. Anyway, that's that. Let's go back. Sold out, sold out, sold out. We're going to carry on with the demonstration. We're going to carry on with the demonstration. So you've done the third row third of row. 12. And I've pressed the seams. Open. Oh, that no, said in the instructions, didn't press them all open. Press them all open, yes. So I wonder why he does them all open, because on quilting normally, don't you do some some way and some the other way? Yes, that can give it a bit of texture and a bit of lift, whether the idea for this is to keep it nice and even, the surface. Yeah, so nothing... It's, it's a really lovely sort of delicate fabric, um, so maybe you wouldn't get the same sort of texture by pressing them one way or the other. But yes, all open. So okay. I've done that. And then I'll flip it over, right sides together, and then pin. I will pin. Pin? I want my points to match up on these. That's <laughs> twice in one week you've done pinning now. Okay, so let's get to Joe Carter's tip. How do you make sure your seams match up? Because normally, you can, if your seams are either side, you can do that fiddling. You can, they sort of nest together. Yeah. Whereas this, I always just. Go on, then let's have a look. There you go. I'll just bend them back and check. And you can also see just by pulling them ever so slightly, you can see yeah. that the seam is lining up. So I'll pop a pin in there. You can pop two in either side, but I'll just pop one in. You do that. I'm going to go, just go and get those books back while you're pinning. Also, actually, with them open, you can look at the top and make sure they're... It's really nice fabric to work with. Little Paul's just wittering away, mate. Ch ch Chunnering away, I don't know what he's talking about. Which of those books did you like the best in? I like the Sweden one. Oh, yeah, I think the Sweden one looks mm. lovely as well. At the moment, Provence is the most popular. And that, oh, you see, you still get the books there. There's the Provence one, en Provence. Um, I'll go through them again quickly for you before the end of the show. I like them all, though. I'd like to get a set of them. You know what I mean? I'm a bit like that. Yeah. I'll speed up a bit. Well, it also is going to remind you, like, I, um, I worked in Morocco. I've never been to Provence, though. I worked in um, uh, France when I was a child. Oh, not a child. That's wrong. When I was a student, I worked <laughs> on a farm in France. Uh, well, oh, it was a really boring job. It's on a maize farm, right? And you have to take, for the maize to grow, you have to pull the flowers off. So we start at the end of a field, and you couldn't, the fields were so long, you couldn't see the other end of the field. And you had to walk along, pulling the flowers off like this. So that they, so they I don't know why, so that the maize could grow or something like that. But the trouble is, I want my lack of attention. I'd be like chatting to the person in the row next to me, and then I start chatting to the person, in the row, and they'd go, "Don't pick those! Don't pick those! You have to leave those." You, you only pulled the flowers off the female ones. You didn't pull the flowers off the male ones, or something like that. Anyway, it was it was a lovely holiday, but oh god, it was hard work. There we go. They're pins. So I'll... Yeah, pins. So nice. Uh, not that year, no. No, it was, uh, that was, um, met a lovely girl on that holiday called Odile. Black Swan, it's a black swan, isn't it, Odile, from Swan Lake? Yeah. Stitching now, row two and three together with a quarter inch seam allowance. Well done to everybody who secured your order. Sold out, sold out, sold out.
The books are still available, but they, the, the gorgeous book, sold out, sold out, sold out. I'm terribly so sorry if you're watching later. Hmm? No, I'll put them out there now. <laughs> yeah, that's what the paints are for. What are you pointing at? What's the matter to me? No, it isn't. I can't hear anything. Um, I'll go through the books again for you in a second, but there's the one, Quilts in Italy, Quilts in Sweden, Quilts of Provence. What's the matter? Quilts in Morocco. What have you done wrong? Oh, little Paul's making lots of mistakes. Today. So he always does when the management children think it's a bit more. <laughs> There they are, look, on Provo. <laughs> Morocco, which one would you like to see? Let me know, would you like to see quilts in Morocco? There you go, quilts in Morocco. That's that one there for 18 pounds, 45 pence. There are quilts on Provence. Stop, 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 stop. Can you stop the upstairs camera? There you go. There's Kate Fassett, just keep up with little Paul. Okay, plus it's quilts on Provence. That's nice, I like that. It's very bold, that Provence one, isn't it? I bet there's lots of heather and purples in there. That's £19.95. Next one, which is uh, Joe's and my favourites, uh, Kay Fassett's quilts in Sweden. But I bet that's quite difficult to do, that. that see that quilt there? Because you'd have to make triangles, wouldn't you, and then put the triangles together. Is that how it works? I don't well, know whether they've been made of squares and then cut. Oh, so they've been yes, sliced maybe. and re pieced back together. Of course. I love the optical illusion it gives, though. So. And there's quilts in Italy. So now, why has he put quilts en France, on Provence? But he should have put quilts, what's in, in Italian? I don't know, there you go. £22.95. Right, OK, so we've shown all three. Right, now, what's this here, then, that I've got here? Is this a whole that's, of the... That's a ready-made one. Of the quarter. So you're going to make four quarter. of these. So this is the... <coughs> This is, so that, that this is, the, that, sorry, that's the corner that you've done there, right? But then, that, but then, because they, you're going to put them on different ways, the stripes are going to go different ways, it then go, it then attaches, oh, you can't see that because it's off the edge thing. When you put them, because that's one block, and when this block is finished, you is that right? Yeah, I've right, done that yeah. right. That block would then add onto there. So the stripes in that block will be going that way, but the stripes in this block will be going this way. But just look, look at one whole block, it's just... Exquisite, striking, little Paul's saying, striking. You see, this is why you need to follow his pattern, because you, can you see how it ombres through from the yellows here, blues and greens there, going through to the dark reds and the pinks there? See what I mean? So, the, so three of these together to create the crescent, and then what you do is you put the last one in the other way round, like that, to create that uh, effect of the crescent moon. It's called a half moon, but it's a crescent moon. We well, see, you can see it on there. So you put the fourth one in the other way round to the other three. So in a way, if you wanted to, if you don't like, you see, I know a lot of my friends have, um, I don't want to say, they have this thing where things have got to be like perfect, perfect, and they wouldn't be able to cope with that, but they could just turn it round and have that corner in the middle there you if could. they wanted you to. You wouldn't have to You don't turn have to it the turn other way it round. round. If or if you, if you want to, you could make those two Two opposites go the other way around as you well. You could, that would you? be nice. But there you go, it's up to you what you do. Obviously, that's the way he's designed it. And as I said, somebody said earlier, could you mess the squares up? If you wanted to, you could mess the squares up, but then you wouldn't have the K facet design. You'd have his fabrics, but you wouldn't have his design. I think the actual quilt top was designed, I think it's by Jodie Godfrey. That oh, she's, she's done it with his fabric. I think that's. Are so you right? Should, should I, I check my book? Should I check my book? Yeah, yeah. check your book. Um, Yes, quilt designed by Jodie Godfrey. There you go. She... So Jodie's designed it using the... So it's Jodie should be getting the credit for this as well because it's Kate Fassett Fabrics, but she's created the actual uh, look and the way that the fabrics are used and everything. So if you wanted to move them around, you could possibly move them around. And as we said, you get loads of fabric left over. Lo this is all left over, right? Who was it making the front? You could make a wall hanging, you can make a, a carpet, you can make a runner, you can make all sorts of things. I'm sure the television is not doing justice to the beautiful colours. I don't think it is, Anne. I don't think it is. They're beautiful. Sold out. Sold out. 
Beautiful. No, no, no. I, I, I agree, Anne. I think uh, that in real life, you're going to be if you love it on the television, you're going to absolutely adore it. Oh, now I've got to ask a quick question. <clears throat> you would then, once this was done, how would you then make a sandwich out of it? Because it's quite big, isn't it? <clears throat> if you're going to quilt it yourself, I big space, and I would press the back, the backing fabric so it's nice and smooth and lay that, that out on the floor and I would tape, I tape the edges down um, just to make sure it's really taut and then the wadding, Wadding. the batting on top and then this. But now you quilt would quilt in straight lines, wouldn't you? I often do straight lines, yeah. But Angie would do one of those, wouldn't she? If but you're a free motion quilter, yeah, yes, you could exactly. get all the curves. But you can send it away. If you're worried about quilting yourself, you can send them away somewhere, can't you, to get them you quilted? You can. There are long arm quilters that, that you know, will do full quilt you send them your quilt top and you get it back right. beautifully quilted uh, she's back tomorrow she's back tomorrow with amy don't go anywhere thanks ever so much by Thank the way you. Uh, i'm back in three minutes with uh simple makes for girls go nowhere follow us on instagram search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. So today I'm going to be showing you how to sew a satin stitch. This is basically a line of straight stitches covering an area, let's say a petal, um, and they'll be parallel and adjacent to each other giving you a nice satin finish. So I'm using embroidery thread and I do have a, a knot in the end just for the purpose of this demonstration. So I'm going to be taking my needle from the back to the front of my work and I'm just going to sew a simple square. So I've done my first line of stitching. And you can see that I'm coming in very close, but not through the same hole that I did before. So my next line of stitching will be parallel to the one I've just created. So I'm going to keep doing that. There we have our setting stitch. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Sewing Quarter is at the very heart of sewing as we bring you all things sewing and quilting. The team behind us live and breathe sewing day to day. We strive to bring you exclusive offers, exciting live demonstrations, and most importantly, we will custom cut fabric to your specification in our very own cutting room. We will also be bringing you TV exclusives that you won't be able to find anywhere else. 
to come and join us today at the Sewing Quarter. Welcome to the Sewing Quarter! Now, you'll have seen um, Jennifer Mills making this dress for you in a previous show. It was so popular, so popular that we decided to bring it back, but we've decided to bring it back with a bit of a difference. I'm not going to be making it, but what we've done is we've created uh, bundles of different fabrics of this pattern for different ages in bundles first, and then we'll talk about them in more depth. Right. So, we'll do, should we do ages three to six first? OK, so I've got three bundled. Oh, I'm going to have to move, aren't I? Because the graphics are going to come in. Yep. Right, here we go. Right, I'll move in. Right. So this is ages three to six. The pattern, you get, you get all of this in the kit, right? You get all of this in your kit. You get the pattern. You get the pattern. You get your iron-on interfacing. You get your thread. And then you get two fabrics here. So you get, I'm just going to, I'm not going to, I'll go through them all uh, properly for a minute. So you get the beach hut and the blue spot. And that's ages three to six, that one. Spot on, spot on. It's lovely, isn't it? Then moving on to, oh, there you go, there it is. We'll go through it properly for you uh, all in a second. Thank you, Amy. Then I've got this one. Now that's 30, th that one there, the blue one is 32 95 then we've got this one, again the same, you've got the pattern, the thread, the interfacing. We've got multicoloured raindrops on this one. Raindrops on roses with the fuchsia pink. That would be very like the, the one on the, on the pattern there. So it's ages three to six again. This one's £29.95. I'll go through how much fabric you get and everything in a second. I just want you to see all the options before I start. And then this one is so cute, isn't it? Again. Pattern, interfacing, and the... Uh, well, I'm going to be in the little bit in the graphics there, but I'll just move across it a little bit. Um, but look at the fabrics. It's an hungry caterpillar. Lovely fabric, isn't it? So you get the two different fabrics there. I'll tell you how much you get in a second. Um, two fabrics, pattern, thread, and the interfacing. £33.90. Oh, look. £33.95. Right, now, you're thinking, well, that's, John, that's only ages three to six. We haven't forgotten the older children. Oh, no, we haven't forgotten the older children. This is uh, ages 7 to 14. Same pattern, same pattern, but for ages 7 to 14. And this one, again, is, the, is exactly the same. It's the... Oh, they're, uh, they're in a different... They've been folded differently. They're the um, beach huts with the spot on, Be, uh, with the interfacing, with the thread and the pattern, £37.95. The thing, oh, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Then we've got batik. Now, with the batik's lovely, isn't it? Again, the pattern. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. <coughs> you've got the pattern. You've got the interfacing. You've got the thread. And then you've got these, the island batik. And that look, that's lovely. Now, it's a nice stiff fabric that's going to make a lovely, lovely, lovely version of the dress. Thirty nine ninety five. And then last but not least, I'm going to fall off the edge of the table at this weight, aren't I? Uh, this one, again, ages 7 to 14. Again, you get the thread, the interfacing, but you get Amy Butler fabric this time. Now, this is for the little girl. This is a little girl who's thinking, you know, oh, I'm older, I'm more sophisticated, I'm stylish, with the lovely green tones in there. So that one comes in at £38.95. Gorgeous, isn't it? I've got a couple of books to show you as well, but I'll show you those uh, later on. So let's just go through what you actually get in each bundle. There's the dress behind me. There it is, hanging there. Oh, they've done it on there. That's it. There's ages three to six. I think that was done on an age two, that one. Right, I'll just move a bit of space. Right, so what you get in the kit, let's just... Oh, oh yes, the pattern's open. I can show you. In, well, I'll show you the back of the pattern first of all. I'll show you the pattern itself. <coughs> So, this is the pattern. So, you get four different designs in the pattern. We've obviously, we did D, that's the one we did, letter D there. But you can do a longer version. 
you can do, and then if I just turn this over, turn this round like this, there's, then you can see on here all the different um, measurements, all the different fabrics that you need and everything. So what you get in this one, oh, okay, my, my screen isn't telling me how much fabric I get, so little Paul will have to tell me how much fabric I get. You get a metre of the spot on, and you get a metre of the uh, marine beach huts. Well, hang on, I'm only doing the three to sixes because it's a different, it's a different, it's a different thing, isn't it? A different gra graphic, a different price and everything. So, in the ages three to six, for 32 pounds, you're not going to set me, don't we? 32 pounds and 95 pence, you get the pattern, you get the thread, and then I'll give you a bit of a waft of these. So the main fab, well, you get a metre of each. You get a metre of each. <clears throat> there you go. So you get a metre. A metre of the beach hut fabric. It's nice. We love this fabric. And th then for the... Uh, I'm being insulted upstairs. That's why I'm getting stronger. And you get to meet you with the spot on blue. The spot on blue is the sky blue. It's sky blue, that one. Uh, it, does, it does show me the marina range, but it only says I haven't got as much as I've really got, that's all. There's the kit. A metre of the spot on. Oh, dear me. I'm <coughs> it's just where I've got a couple of days off, isn't it? A metre of the spot on. Um, a metre of the uh, beach, uh, it's called marine fabric there. The pattern which has got four, uh, four different alternatives for you to make in there. The pattern, the interfacing, and the thread, all for £32.95. I'm going to stay with the age three to sixes, if that's all right. So now I'm going to do the three to six. Oh, somebody wants to see the Hungry Caterpillar. We'll do that one next, then. The Hungry Caterpillar. This is uh, Timothy's favourite upstairs. So we've got the interfacing. We've got the thread. We've got the pattern. Right, but then look at these gorgeous fabrics. You could choose which way round you made it, couldn't you? Because you get a metre of each. You get a metre of each of these fabrics. The thing is, what I was going to say... What I was going to say earlier was, if you didn't want to make the little girl's dress, you wanted to keep the fabric for yourself, then you could do it. You could just keep the pattern for something else and keep this, this fabric for you, couldn't you? So, so you get a metre of the caterpillar. That's hearts, isn't it, that one? It's what... No, it's not. They're both ways. So they're just telling me upstairs I've got the fabric upside down because I'm not as good a wafter as Amy. That's what they're telling me. Upstairs, they're really picking on me today. And the management in today. And I've got my meeting with the management. I'm, you'd like always before you. There we go. So you get a metre of each of those fabrics for £33.95. pence. Uh, the Raindrop ones is the one I haven't shown you yet. It's coming up next, the one at the bottom. They're pre preempting me there underneath. That's all right. Because I was going to say, that was £33.95. There you go. There we go. That goes to one side. Yes, but I haven't shown it yet, little Paul. That's all. Right, this is the one I want you to see. I love this one. Love this one. Raindrops, they're like colourful fantasy raindrops, aren't they? You get a metre of that. And I'm presuming this one's fuchsia. I'll just have a check. Look, aren't they lovely together? Beautiful. You get all of that. All of that. £29.95. £29.95. Gorgeous, isn't it? So you get the um, thread, interfacing, spectrum fuchsia solid, a metre, and a metre of the fantasy raindrops on white background. Lovely, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Uh, well, I'll, I will go through the pattern with you in a second. I just want you to see all of the, the options fully before we move on to talking about the pattern and things in the books. Let me see how we can fold it up nicely. 
Right, OK, now we're going to the ages 7 to 14. So we'll do the beach hut one first, because maybe you want to... You know what, if you had little... If you were getting married on a beach and you wanted two little girls to be bridesmaids, you know what I mean? Like a very casual... Um, you could do this one, you see. Now, I'm presuming you get more... Fa yes, you get more fabric in this one, you see, look. You get a metre and a half of fabric in this one. Of each, you get a metre and a half of each, do OK, they're choosing now which one you have as your main fabric. This, you, get, you get a metre and a half of that, and you get a metre of the spot-on fabric with that. So it'll be the same for the batiks that are coming up in a minute. Then you get the pattern, you get the interfacing, and you get the thread for £37.95. That's the 7 to 14. Obviously, it's, uh, the other pattern was the 3 to 6. There's the still of what you get, the metre and a half of the beach hut, the metre of the um, spot on, and then the, uh, you've got the uh, uh, interfacing and you've got the pattern as well there. Right, hang on, I've just got to... F right, now the next one will be the petite batik, which will be lovely in the summer dress, wouldn't it? I'll just put that there. Put that there. Right, now this batik fabric always been always been popular. This. So you get a metre and a half of the batik. It's very vibrant, very summery, isn't it? <coughs> it's I wouldn't say it was a couture fabric at all. I think this one's a very casual look at me girls, like that kind of, you know. <laughs> you know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like having a nice time on the beach sort of thing. Um, you could use, you could just make a sarong out of this because you get a metre and a half of this fabric. Now, uh, hang on, hang on. Let me just check. This fabric looks a different width. Let me just double check for you. Let me just double check for you. Yes, yeah, so this, oh no, 45 inches, 45 inches. Right. I always come and tuck when I do fabrics. Don't I? It's ridiculous. They're watching, so it's fine. Let me just check what that one was. Oh, no, they're all 45. I do beg your pardon. Yeah, 45. They're all 45. So with this one, you're getting the metre and a half of the batik. Now, which one? This is called hot orange. Psst, hot orange. Psst. Oh, no, on mine, it says hot orange batik fabric. And then what does it say? This is coral. Yeah. I've got, it says here, batik fabric, hot orange, then the dress pattern for 7 to 14, the Guzman thread, uh, colour 587, hemline iron-on interfacing, one metre, and spectrum solid in coral. Well, it is leaves and foliage, isn't it? But it's also hot orange. Right, so £39.95. So you get a metre and a half of this and a metre of this. And there's the pattern. And remember, this is for ages 7 to 14, this one. Ages 7 to 14, with the thread there. Oh, actually, it's got the wrong thread. Uh, there's the thread. That's the thread. Obviously, Amy got the threads the wrong way around there. <coughs> there's the thread. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I didn't know they'd take my mics out. Nobody said that. £39.95. Uh, right, and then the last one, but not least, this is that's lovely. The thing is, as I say, you've got a metre and a half of that and a metre of this. So if you... Oh, sorry. You've got a metre and a half of this and a metre of this. So if you don't want to make the little girl's dress, you can just put that in your stash of patterns and use this to make something else, couldn't you? You get the thread, you get the interfacing. Fabulous for your stash. And then last but not least... <laughs> Again, the pattern, the thread, and then this Amy Butler fabric. This is so sophisticated. I think a little girl, well, um, that's at 14, they're not, you know what I mean? It's kind of like they're kind of thinking they're a little bit more mature. 7 to 14, they think they're just a little bit, um, yeah, you know, they're, they're not an attitude, but you know what I mean? It's like kind of a little bit more sophisticated. I love that fabric. Absolutely, so I'd have a shirt made out of that fabric, definitely. Metre and a half of the Amy Butler there. 
Right, hang on a second. How much of the um, spearmint do I get? Half a metre of the spearmint. Right, I've made a mistake then. I've made a mistake in the past. But those, that, those are metres, the other ones. That's why I've been saying metre. So how much do you get of the spearmint? OK, I've got a bit of an issue here with this one. Because with all the others, we've got a metre of the, of the alternative fabric. We'll just double check for you. I'm sorry we've got a few mistakes there, but I want you to get the right thing. So there's, a there's definitely a metre and a half of this. And you get a metre of the spearmint, but there's only half a metre here. <clears throat> there's only half a metre here. You will get a metre of the spearmint. Who's making all these mistakes? I'm going to have to have words with somebody. Right, OK. So that's that, that's that. And then you get... Now, uh, you see, you're supposed to, there's supposed to be a green thread with this, then. You get a green thread with that on the image there. I just haven't got it in real life, that's all. I love that. I love that, Amy. Do you know what? I'd be tempted... I'd be tempted not to make a child's dress. I'd keep this for, my, for myself, because that is just really, really beautiful fabric, isn't it? OK, I'll just fold that one up. Now, I've got a couple of books to show you as well. Oh, I've gone very sniffly suddenly as well. Must be my hay fever kicking in again. I do apologise. Right, OK. Got a message, have I? From Sandra. John, do you think the batik is suitable for Millie, age 13? Yes. Shall I show you, Sandra? I don't know Millie. Oh, I don't know Millie, but look, it's... I think... Well, it depends what kind of character she is, Sandra. It is beautiful fabric. The thing is, it's been folded the wrong way round as well. Look, there's the colour. I thought it was looking a bit odd. There's the colour. Sorry, you were seeing the back of it. I mean, it doesn't really matter so much with Batik, but that's the full colour. I quite like... I, 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 Sandra, Sandra. 13's a difficult age, though, isn't it? Because they're kind of... They're bordering between the childhood and growing into a, a young lady, aren't they? And it kind of depends. I, I know th the 13-year-old girls that live around by me, they'd love this, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Oh, here you go. Little Paul's got a 13-year-old niece, and she'd love it. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, I've got... Fab I've got um, I'm going to have to tidy my desk up in a minute, aren't I? Couple of books. Uh, no, not yet, not yet, because I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you that in a second. Which, right now, I just thought I'd put two books in here. Because if you're, um, say you're returning to sewing, or maybe if you're, a, if you're beginning uh, to learn how to sew, or if, you, or if you're one of these ladies who do, used to do sewing, which we get lots and lots of messages from you saying, I used to do a lot of sewing, uh, had my family, had my career, and I've just come back to it. You've inspired me to come back to it. This is the brilliant go-to book. Because, no, I always say it, don't I? No question is a silly question. It's got lots of sewing techniques in here. Um, have a look. See? Really, really lovely, isn't it? I'll count how many techniques there are in it. Pressing. Sewing techniques. Applique. Armholes. It's, this book is in alphabetical order, you see. So it's called the A to Z there in alphabetical order. So uh, Paul went straight to um, hems, right? I'm starting with armholes, because that's an A. But it's got everything you need to. It's got the go-to... It's a go-to book. Um, belt keepers. There's over 180 techniques in here. Binding. The pages are being wafted over because somebody switched the other aircon machine on and it's wafting out the pages open. Buttonholes. No, I'm fine. I don't mind it. Are you cold? No, no, we're fine. It's just it's blowing, blowing things. When I get the pattern out, that'll be fun. Uh, £12.95. pence. Uh, everything you need to know, really. Oh. <laughs> You want to know about sleeves? I'll look up sleeves. We're only on E. Here you go. Sleeves. What do you want to know about sleeves? Only on. Oh, I don't know. Oh, slashes. Seams. Sleeves. There you go. 
Raglan sleeves, set it sleeve, flat construction, sleeve finishes. In fact, this would be a perfect time for me to bring some, something that sold out a while ago. Something that sold out a while ago and everybody loves, right? The Taylor's Ham. And they're back in stock. So, that's the book for £12.95. Right, now, the iron is not on, right? The iron is not on, but I'll show you. Taylor's Ham. When I was learning, we had this and the sleeve board were essentials, right? This is lovely. It's kind of made out of a calico twill fabric on that side and then a lovely kind of woolen fabric on this side. It's £11, right? The reason it's so good... I'll just show you on this dress, actually. When you, sew, uh, when you want to iron something that's not a straight edge, all you need to do... Oh, no, hang on. £11 on the dot, look. 11 11 Looks very strange. Oh, why, why did it go 11 point naught naught? Do you know what I mean? Or 10.95 or something like that. Anyway, when you're doing a curved seam, like the top of a sleeve head here, you can just put your fabric on there, use it, because if it was flat on an ironing board, it would all be getting, you see, and then you can just press around like that, you see. The Taylor's Ham, if you're doing princess seams, it's brilliant for that. Um, it's filled, usually filled with, um, I was going to say stardust then, it's not stardust, sawdust. Sawdust, you see, so it just absorbs the, the, the steam and then will dry out in your workroom. They are a must, really, for every workroom. You see what I mean? You can just do lovely curved seams on it. If you want something you don't want to lie flat and you just want to iron it round like that. You, so what, what you do is, I put a little pull saying, what do you do with it? This isn't switched on, right? It's not on, it's not on. You literally, I'll just put it down like that. We'll get somebody who's listening, watching with no sound on, complain them. And literally, you just iron around the ham like that. That's the way it works. Little Paul couldn't quite figure out how it worked. So, ham it up today with the so easy Taylor's pressing ham for it. £11. On the dot. Now, each time, I brought that on air twice, right? And both times it sold out. So we've, we've ordered more. Oh, let me put that back there. Righty ho, let me put that back up there. So that, that's the Taylor's Ham. The other, I'll go to the other book now. That was just that we were doing... Somebody asked about sleeves. Somebody asked about sleeves. How to machine sew. It's a lovely little book as well. Look at that book, then. You see, if I did it the other way around, the air conditioning could open it, really, couldn't it, for me? Um, look. Right, before you start... Choosing and using a sewing machine. I train, I've got, I trained as a school teacher. Be a Donners in English and Drama, Leeds University. Sewing machine accessories. How a sewing machine works. This is the one. This is the one that, oh, it's nearly Davinia's birthday. I have to get this one for Davinia for her birthday. Basic tools and equipment. Fabrics, basic materials. You see, no questions are silly questions, is it? Because we all forget things. Working with fabric. Then we've moved on to techniques and projects. This book's only 7 95 by the way. Uh, basic machine stitching. You see, Joy always says, doesn't she, do a little sampler card of all your stitches. Pot holder. They are basic machine. They are basic stitches on your machine. Yep, because that's a, a stretch stitch, zigzag stitch, satin stitch, and then a couple of decorative scalloped edge stitch. I think that's called a feather stitch, that one, isn't it? Um, and then... Oops. Oops. Hems and mitered corners. Seven ninety-five. Seven pounds and ninety-five pounds. Place settings. Oh, Joy would like those, wouldn't she? Strip quilt. That doesn't mean you take your clothes off. Please don't start that one and take your clothes off. Strip quilt. Binding and piping. Well, that one, you don't do that one, smoking a pipe, do you? Oven glove. Casings. Little Paul's just telling fantasies that he's having. Drawstring bag. Oh, now somebody's got to... Oh, jo Joe's got to make a drawstring bag for tomorrow. Zippers. Makeup purse. Zigzag stitching applique, that's what I always talk about, isn't it? Satin stitch applique. Uh, tablet cover. 
It's got everything in there, seven pounds and 95 pence. How to machine sew. Nice, nice. Right now, uh, if you want to, if, you, if you've just joined us, like Andrew and Hillary, we've only just woken up, and you think, what have I missed today? The best thing to do is go to the website, right? www.sewingquarter.com. Uh, you click on watch the show. There you go. And then underneath where you're watching, that's, that's me showing the book, you see, a few seconds ago. And then this are, are the thing. Oh, hang on. All oh, four robots. That means people haven't checked out their baskets on the robot. I'll tell you about that in a second. So the robot's still available. I know that the um, cream one. No, hang on. I can do this. It was the cream one and the circuit board one. We thought they'd sold out, so obviously not everyone's checked out their baskets. There must be still some in baskets. And then the other two, the Galaxy White and the Galaxy Blue, there were a few of those left. Uh, then the fabrics from my John's Nature Trail. There, some of those still there, you see. And then if you go, scroll down the page, now there, you see, there are the dress uh, bundles I'm bringing you now. The eight set of sewing, which I've just shown you. And there are the lovely quilting books that were very popular in the last hour. Uh, before I read message, just, just, if you're not sure what the robot kits are all about, just to make this. To make this, it was so lovely. Look, it's Joe Carter's latest. What noises do robots make? John, you're fabulous. Can I say how much you've brightened up my dull Wednesday? Lots of love, Jackie. Oh, Jackie, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. There you go. What, that, robots don't go blub, 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 blub. Oh, hang on. Now, that's a donkey. Hang on, I wasn't, I wasn't far enough through the alphabet then. That's a dog. What noises do robots? I don't know, I've never met a robot. Depends what robot it is. Would you like me to make... Would you like me to make a cup of tea? Would you like me to... Right now, uh, Joe was going to... Joe was going to do a robot... Is Joe still in the building? Is Joe still in the building? We'll get it back on. She was going to do a robot... I don't know what a robot dance is. Little Paul's going to come on it before midnight. Uh, midnight. <laughs> before midday, we'll get Little Paul on the table next to the robot. They could do a robot dance together. OK, the robots come in these different colourways, and we'll be able to check the, the stock for you. So that's the one that Joe was making on the show. That's the... It's a navy blue fabric. You get half a metre of each of the fabric. Navy blue fabric with... Fabric? Fabric with numbers all over it. Um, you get the half a metre of the green, half a metre of the yellow, half a metre of the white. You get the padding, you get the uh, instructions, you get the zip, you get the embroidery thread, you get the eyes, and you get two reels of thread for £29.95. How many of those have I got left? Are we all right with those at the moment? Right, OK, you're fine with that one at the moment. If you're watching the repeats, that one, we're fine with that one. Next one is this one that I'm holding here, which they've called the cream pack for some reason. OK, there's how many of those left? Two of those left. There are two of those left, but two people have still got it in their basket. So that's why there's two left, because we thought it had sold out. Then the next one, uh, now this is the same as the navy one earlier, the navy fabric with the uh, numbers and letters on it, but this is white fabric with that, with the orange, the navy and the white fabric. Again, you get everything else you need with the instructions and the filling for £29.95. You'll be all right on those. If you want one of those, you'll be all right on one of those. I'm saying that, uh, actually, can I just stress, stress, I'm saying that at half past 11 in the morning. If you're watching at half past 11 tonight, it might not be, it might not be safe then. All you need to do is check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. And then last but not least was the circuit breaker. No, that's not what it's called. Circuit board, was it called? Is it coming in? There you go. Oh, it's spelt wrong. Circuit turquoise. Write that down, Paul. Spelling mistake. Uh, and the, I bet there's only one of those left. Just check in. Oh, oh, right, it's telling us that one's sold out. It's telling us that one's sold out, so it hasn't been deleted off the web yet. That's fantastic. There's no uh, cave quilts left. There's no cave, cave quilts left. They flat with people wanting more. Right, let's go through the dresses again. Let's do the older girls this time. Let's start with the Amy, but oh, no, I know what I should do. I should show you the pattern. Let me show you the pattern, because you need to know what you're getting for your money, don't you? Oh, now, the most popular is the... 
Hot orange. Why do you call it island? Oh, okay. They've all got so, so many different things. Just bring the graphics that one in while I show you what you're getting. So, inside the pattern, you get all the details you need, look. I have to hold it down like this, look. Yeah, no, but it's, it's the aircon that's pushing that. Um, Sandra, up to age four. Oh, I'll check. I'll check. I'll check on the back of the packet for him. Um, which dress do you want to make? No, no, no. Which? Oh, uh, no. Which design of the dress do you want to make? Uh, let me have a look. So the largest size would be 14. Uh... Right, there wouldn't be enough. How much fabric is there? Two a metre and a half. There's enough to make, not to make that longer one. You wouldn't be able to make that longer one. You wouldn't be able to make that longer one with the fabric that we're doing, because we've got a metre and a half fabric. You could definitely make A in a size four. Size 14 did Chandra ask for? Little Paul? Did Chandra ask for a size 14, age 14? Yeah, so you got... Oh, age 12, well, I'll, I'll say the most you need. You need, yeah, a metre and a half. You wouldn't be able to make the B dress out of it. Yeah, that's the only one you wouldn't be able to make out of it, is the B dress. Well, it's longer, you see, it's longer there. Um, anyway, so these are the instructions. These are how to lay your pattern out, what to use, all about your facings. It's still now. No, no, this is why we moved to the other aircon machine, because it kept doing this. The wrong machine's been put on, that's why it's wafting it about, that's all. Doesn't matter, don't worry. We've only been open months. People should know this by now. That'll cut. I'll bring that up in my meeting, shall I? Right. So that's the pattern. <laughs> oh, apparently I laugh like an old man. I've just been told. Anyway, you get all of that, and then all of the pattern is very, very easy. You can see here. Now, the pattern is the same for each of the different size bundles. If you buy these bundles on this side, they're ages 3 to 6. The ones on this side are 7 to 14. So I'll go through that more thoroughly with you. These are the ages 3, 4, 5, 6, you see on there. So I'll just pop that away before it blows away in the air con. I know. I don't know why everyone's being so mean to me today. I'll put that carefully. I'm just putting it to one side. Right, so let's do, oh, excuse me, the 7 to 14s. The se oh, sorry, do you want to go to Hungry Caterpillar? All right, then. Paul said, go wherever you want, right? So I picked up that one. He went, no, the Hungry Caterpillar one. Right. <sighs> I'll tell you what. I will, after my meeting. Um, so this is ages 3 to 6, isn't it? Age is three to six. I think that will have that's fate will, will have already been. Have you never seen these before? Yes, you have. They're the big hearts, and then every now and then there's a caterpillar asleep in the shape of hearts. And then look at this one because this one's also got hearts on. There's baby caterpillars on this one as well. Lovely heart printed fabric. So you get a meter and a half. Jill, does one of the books have the sewing machine needle guide? Oh, Jill, I'll have a look for you in a minute. Um, what about the sizes of the needles, do you mean? What do you mean by needle guide? There's different sizes of the needle. Let me know. Uh, so you get a metre of the, you get a metre of each, I think, don't you, on this? Yes, metre of each. Metre of each fabric you get on this one. So you get the hearts and you get the other hearts there. They're lovely, aren't they? Then you also get the pattern, the thread. I've only got nine of these left. Only got nine of these bundles yet. The Hungry Caterpillar, nine bundles left. That's all I've got. Do you want to have a quick another look from upstairs? There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they think I'm crying now because they're saying I'm the worst presenter on the channel. That's nice, isn't it? No, I've got hay fever. Raindrops on roses, whiskers on kitten, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. There you go. That's lovely. That's a beautiful... Which way round would you do it as well? Because you see what I mean? Like, you could either make the dress out of this and trim it with that, or make the dress out of that and trim it with that. Lovely. So again, this is ages three to six. Ages three to six thread. Interfacing. And pattern. Oh, which size needle for which fabric? Oh, don't, I don't know if that's one of these books, Jill. I think that might be one of the other books I've got. Hang on. Let's put need. Let's look up the MNOP needles. Sandra, there is, there is enough fabric. No, Sandra, it's different fabric. So in this one, in, this is why we've done the different. In the three to six, you can only make ages three to six in this one. There's enough fabric there to in the rain. So if you want raindrops for age 14, there's not enough fabric. There's not enough fabric for age 14 in this one because this is a bundle for three to six year olds. That's a bundle for three to six year olds and that's a bundle for three to six year olds. And then the batik, the Amy Butler and the, the um, Beach huts, there's more fabric in those for up to the 14 year olds, but there's not enough to make the longer dress in the 14 year olds, just the shorter dress like that. That's it. Right, okay. Needles. And then I'm just seeing if, that, if it's got that thing in for Jill. I don't think that's this book, Jill. Hang on. Where's the other book come? I don't. That's the, sorry, that's the raindrop there. While you look at that, I'm just looking up for the answer for Jill. Oh! Uh, no, all it's got is the sewing machine needle size. It hasn't got which needles to use on which... Fa oh, oh, I tell a fib. I tell a fib, Jill. Look. The, uh, yeah, this book's only seven ninety five. as well. Look, Jill, here. Fabric and needle guide. It's, a, it's quite a basic one, Jill. There's another book which goes into it in much more detail. Here we go. Delicates and shears, fine needle, and, the different, and how, how big your stitches should be. Lightweight, medium and heavy. And then it's all got different threads as well. You see the polyester thread, cotton thread, embroidery thread. What? Apparently Paul's saying, these describe his weight. Lightweight, medium weight, heavyweight, and he's very delicate. He's a delicate soul. Yeah. I hope that... Where does it say... Oh, where does it say shears? Yeah, sheer fabric is like a chiffon or... Like a sheer genius, yes. Yes, that's you, little Paul, if that's what you say. Right, right, OK, next one. Well, the only one I haven't done in this in three to six, I'll do now, which is the beach huts, which is this gorgeous little frock here. Right, there we go. So that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. So the final one. Again, you get the interfacing, the thread, and the pattern. And then you get a metre and a half... Um, Meter, sorry, a meter of the beach huts and a meter of the spot on. Spot on, darling, spot on. It's nice. And that's this, that's this. That's enough to make this. Ages three, three to six. Right, let's move on to the older girls now. They're seven to, <laughs> seven to 14. I don't know how, I, I don't know how. Anne, what does Anne say? I'll just move on to the fabrics now.
Do you know what? I used to love working here. I'm going to have to say, when I go for a meeting, I'm going to have to say who I will and won't work with in the future. So easy, Taylor's. I love Hannah. So easy, Taylor's pressing ham. Hannah. I didn't say ham. Don't eat ham, veggie, aren't I? 11 pounds. 11 pounds. Lovely, isn't it? What you do is you can use it as an ironing board, right, which when you need a curved seams, that's what you use it for. Anything that you don't want to do flat, like sleeve heads or uh, anything that's slightly on a curve, princess seams, when you want to press open a princess seam, you can press round the curve. So, oh, it's an, uh, you just need one. You just need one for your workroom. If you've never had one, get one, and you'll wonder how you ever did yourself, especially in dressmaking. You won't need it in quilting, I don't think. You won't ever need it in quilting, but definitely in dressmaking or, uh, I suppose, crafts, if you're doing handbags or something, doing the ins... Do you know what? If you're doing a, hand, a little bag and you put your bag over there, you could iron the... Because you know how they always have a curved seam on the bottom? Put that into your bag and press around the seam. Hmm? Right. Moving on. The, now, these are for the older girls, 7 to 14 now. 7 to 14. Starting with the beach. <laughs> right. Timothy's asking if there's enough fabric to make a shirt for him. I would say so, because you're quite slight, aren't you? Felt? No, it's cotton. It's 100% cotton. Uh, so we've got the beach hut fabric. We've got the, so you get a metre and a half in the, la, in the, for the little, for the girls seven to 14, you get a metre and a half of the beach hut. Meet, I don't think we're ordering this again, by the way. I think this is when it's gone, it's gone this uh, beach hut now, the nautical. Uh, so for 37.95, you get the fabric, metre and a half of this, a metre of this, the pattern, the thread. Uh, which thread was this one? Let me just have a look at the still. White thread. Obviously. And then you've got the uh, interfacing there as well. They're lovely, aren't they? £37.95. Okay, fold that one up. That's the beach hut one. I've got, now I've got two left. I've got the batik. Uh, I'll do the, the Amy Butler first. You want to do the Amy Butler first, okay? Let me just fold that one up nicely. There's plenty to make a shirt for you, Timothy. But I'm not making one for you. Amy Butler next. So now this one. I love this fabric. I think this fabric is beautiful. Even if you don't want to make the little girls dress out of it, you've got a metre and a half of this. Yep, just said that, metre and a half. OK, look. Oh, I'll just switch the iron off. We finished that now. Uh, right. Metre and a half of the Amy Butler. Do you know what? I love this. I lo if you don't want to make the little girl's um, dress out of it, you could use that for so many other projects, couldn't you? Look at the colours in there. You've got the turquoise, you've got the pinks, you've got the greens. So much going on in there. And then I love the way we've teamed this. Now, you'll get more. There's only half a metre here. You're going to get a metre of this. You'll get a metre of this fabric. But look how it teams in so beautifully. That's called uh, spearmint. That's called spearmint. So you get a metre and a half of this, and you get a metre of this, right? Don't look at this, because there's only half a metre there. You get a metre of that. Then you get your thread. Oops, I put it in shot, John. One job. Then you've got your pattern, which is the 7 to 14 pattern, remember? 7 to 14 pattern. And you even get... You don't need a whole metre of uh, interfacing, medium weight interfacing. It's iron-on as well, so it's brilliant to use. You don't need a whole metre of it, so that can go into your stash. But do you know what? This fabric... Just for this fabric alone, I love. It's there's the kit. That's everything you get in it, right? So a meter and a half of the Amy Butler, a meter of the spearmint, and then the thread, the pattern, and the interfacing, all for thirty-eight pounds and ninety-five pence. Don't you just love it? I love this. Remember now. Remember, if you've already bought something from the first hour or the second hour, and you've already checked out, we brought this in. If you bought the huge K facet quilt, right? Uh, and then you've suddenly seen something this time, and you've already checked out on that one. What a lot of people do, <clears throat> a lot of channels do, is once you've checked out once, and then you check out again, you have to pay P&P again. Or they have one of those, um, I don't know, it's called escalating price. So if you buy one thing, it's 2 95 If you buy two things, it's £5. You buy, and then it's capped at £10. 
We only charge you £2.95 for the whole day, so you can check out as many... Even if you're watching at, what, 8 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock tonight, whatever time it is tonight, you can still check out then. If you checked out something at 8 o'clock this morning, 8 o'clock at night, at midnight, it consolidates, and you just pay the one p of £2.95. Uh, but, you know, if you want to, if you know you want something, just check out straight away. That's what I do. I just check out... Um, I, I just check out straight away. If you know that you want something, just check out straight away. If you've got any issues, just ring the call centre as well. They're brilliant. 0800 112 right, I'm going to put this gorgeous fabric away now. You see, look, isn't that lovely? Right, lots of people asking about the batik. I'll show you the batik now. It is the most popular one so far. And I think Sandra was getting it for her um, daughter, wasn't she? OK, let's put that to one side. Oh, now... I'm going to waft, but I've got, the, I've got a bit of thread. I've got a bit of thread that's right on the edge of the table there. Right, here we go. Look at this. Look at the camera. You can make the most. If you don't make the little girl's dress out of this, you can make the most lovely kaftan out of it, couldn't you? Let me just turn it around. Look, I love this. Look how sumptuous it looks when it's... Oh, there you go. Bright oranges. Now, look, there's two sides to it. One side is slightly brighter than the other, but you can use either side on a batik. Just have a, have a close-up of those beautiful colours while I go and get this thread. Uh, it's just rolling off the front of the table, you see. Uh, for £39.95, and pence, you get a metre and a half of the batik, which I love. Now, remember, batik, it's uh, how we do batik at this price, I don't know, because you know how batik is made, don't you? When they make batik... When they make batik, they... Um, I'll just explain this to you, if it's all right. They get a piece of plain fabric, plain white fabric, they wet it, and then what they do is they paint on a wax coating of the places where they don't want the dye to go. So if they've got the, if they've got the blue dye going that morning, they paint all of the fabric apart from... So it, they paint all of it apart from where you see the little blue leaves on there. They dip it into the dye, take it out. Dip it into the dye, take it out. Then they wash it. Then they take all of the wax off that they've put painted on, and then they think, right, we'll make a bucket of the pink dye now. So they then paint all of the fabric apart from where they want pink. So can you imagine how long it takes to create this fabric? Because look at all the colours. Every time, that's, that process has to be done for every single time. Um, this is lovely. Make a gorgeous summer dress, but also a sarong. If you didn't want to make the child's dress, you make a sarong. A little short caftan if you're on the beach and you just want to... Um, uh, wander up the beach and cover your bikini up or something. Or we've made a tote bag out of this, like a summer beach bag tote bag. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, we're, we're selling it in the bundle with the coral. Remember, with the corals, you get, you get a metre of this, a metre and a half of this. Um, then you also get your interfacing. You also get your pattern. Remember, this is a pattern for 7 to 14s. And you get your thread for £39.95. Now, as I said, you might want to buy all of these, but then put that in your stash, make something else out of it. Put this in your thread, because you always need thread, don't you? And then you have a stash of iron on your facing. Then you've got these two fabrics, nice pieces of fabric. 100% cotton, remember? Machine washable at 30 degrees. Really, really lovely. There's the bundle. £39.95. Let me just fold that one up. Oops. Of course, I'll show the books again. Margaret's just said, can she see the books? We'll do the A to Z one first for you, Margaret. Let me just fold that up, make it all nice and tidy. It is looking a bit like a, a fabric shop in here at the moment, isn't it? Right, books. Right, OK. Margaret, here we go. A to Z, so we love this book. This is like a go-to, a go-to book, isn't it? Whether you're brand new to sewing or whether you, um, like I was saying earlier, we have so many emails and texts in saying, oh, I, I haven't sewn for years, I used to sew a lot, then I had my family or had my career, and you've inspired me, you've inspired me to get back. This is 12 95 nights. Oh, first of all, you have, little, you have just little how to, simple things like how to measure. How to measure and things like that. Uh, just little techniques about patterns and darts and moving darts around, preparation, cutting out. This is all before we even start the um, before we even start the techniques. And the techniques are all in alphabetical order. So we start with a plique, and then look step by step belts, belt keepers because they're very important, aren't they? Binding. Everything you need, so you can just go straight to it. Because earlier, somebody messaged and said, could we see about sleeves? And we just were able to go straight to the sleeve page and just look it up. I'll tell you what's a very good one in this one, is seams. Because the amount of times we forget what different seams are.
Let me find it. There's pleats. S. I'm looking for S now. Sashes would be soon. Seams. There you go. There's the seam books. All the different straight seam, flat fell seam. Uh, just how to do, how, how often if you, you suddenly think, oh, I want to do a French seam. Oh, how do I do it? Is it the right side together or is it the wrong side together? You've got all of that information you need in here. Over 180 techniques in that book. The A to Z, oh, sorry, I put the middle. A to Z of sewing, £12.95. Very, very quickly, I'll show you the other book before I go on, because sometimes I'll see the CAFE books again. I'll do that for you now. How to machine sew, this one is called. Now, this one's only, I'll oh, wait for those graphics to go, 7 95 this one, isn't it? Again, before you start, all the things you need to know about your sewing machine. Because if you haven't got your sewing machine, how many of you have got an old sewing machine like I have and there's no instructions with it? No instructions with it at all. Then a book like this. Brilliant for all your basics, all your fabrics. Uh, that uh, Jill asked earlier, didn't she, about fabric and needle guide? Well, that's in there as well. And then it's just got all these different, all these different techniques at £7.95. Again, there's another one about seams, you see. Then you've got place settings. Beautiful, isn't it? All those different techniques. Uh, and all about fabric goes into a lot of detail. Uh, there's nine patterns in here, not nine techniques. There are nine projects. There's nine projects in here, oven glove. Um, and then the, the techniques are in between. You see what it is? It's, it's very clever the way they've done, they've done oven gloves. And then for oven gloves, you need to know about casings, you see. So what they've done is they put the techniques in between the projects, which is fantastic. So you've got it all on hand as you need it. Makeup purse. Little Paul needs one of those, but he needs more than a purse. Tablet cover. You know what I mean? So it's kind of fantastic that gathers pleats and tucks. I was doing that with curtains, wasn't I? Up against the, um, the picture frame yesterday. £7.95. Uh, brilliant for you or brilliant as a gift. Right, now, very quickly, because somebody wants to see the K Facet books again. I don't quite know which ones you wanted to see. So let's just pop them all out like this. I've got Italy, Morocco, Provence and Sweden. Which one do you want to go first? Sweden. Sweden first. All right, then. Joe and I both love this one. We've not seen... I'd get the whole set of these if I could. Um, we've not seen three of these before. I've seen the um, Italy one. I haven't seen the Morocco and the Provence one before. Right, now, this is the K Facet quilts in Sweden. What I love about this is just... It's really, apart from being inspirational, because we've got those fabrics, haven't we? That's the classic collective. We have those fabrics. Um, it's not only inspirational, but it's also... Look at the, look at the pictures. Look at the picture. So it's going to inspire you to make one, but then you can have it as a coffee table book just to look at with all those beautiful... Look at the way they've taken the pictures. I didn't hear that, sorry. Twenty quilts in this one. Paul said you hear that. Twenty quilts! I think he thought he was on the taxi rank again. Um, really, really... And look at them, aren't they beautiful? K facet quilts in Sweden. Just beautiful. And then if you carry on going through all the pictures, look. Look, you see, or how to make each of them. How to make, and then I think you find at the back as well, you've got templates and everything. Look, there we go. I love all of those. Now, all his little tips, all his techniques that you're paying for in there, 19 pounds and 95 pence. That's the K Facet Quilts in Sweden. Then we'll move on to... Oh, how long have I got? Oh, all right, I've got tomorrow's menu ready, standing by. K Facets Quilts on Provence. It's not me tomorrow. I've got two days off. Amy will be in with you tomorrow and the next day. K Facets Quilts on Provence. Oh, I've got ages. We're fine. Look at these again. Again, you've got all these different... You see, they're beautiful, aren't they? All these different fabrics. And then look at that one. Look at the way that ombre is through from the... A bit like the quilt that we were showing earlier. Um, they, the way the colours ombre through into the different, different colours. Really, really love... Look at them. This was the... Yellow pattern. Now, remember what we were saying earlier. If you did get that quilt and there are fabrics left... You, there's, there's more than enough to make another quilt. You could do one of these patterns. Instead of doing the same pattern, you can maybe do one of these. Look at this. That'd be nice. So the one we've done earlier was stripes and then the like checkerboard one. Isn't it lovely? Really beautiful. £19.95. Okay. K Facets quilts on Provence. Okay, there, look, look at that. Like tumbling blocks, but then how to make them. How to make them. It's just incredible. And again, all the templates at the back there. All you have to do is photocopy them or trace them through. Brilliant. Right, last but not, oh, no, not last, I've got two. Morocco. Morocco. Now, I love this. Love this. I spent months working with Robin Williams in Morocco. We had such a brilliant time. That was called Being Human, a film called Being Human. Bill Forsyth, Being Human film. Um, 
Really, look at the colours. He's really, what he's done, look at the, like the, look, you see all the souks, and if you go through all the souks, which is like the marketplaces, you go down little alleyways, you come across these amazing houses and little restaurants where you can just pop in for peppermint tea and everything like that, or people's homes as well. And then he, what he's done is just themed his um, quilts. Again, very, very inspirational. Flying geese, one of my favourite, look. I like that, you've got flying geese going in both directions. And then, of course, you've got all, uh, look, uh, that's lovely, they're called shuttles, that one. And he does one with slipper. Oh, look, that's like the one that we did with um, Jess. Like, you know the bookshelf one? The bookshelf one, that's like the one that we did with Jess recently in a bag. Look at that. Now, we have those fabrics. That's the K Facet Collectives in the blue, isn't it, that one? I, mean, I say we've got it. It might have sold out now because it was very, very popular. Whoosh, that's red, isn't it? Anyway, very quickly, I need to go on to the last one. Quilts in Italy. Now, producer Hannah has actually been to the town that these were photographed in. And it's brought... Oh, look, 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 that's the fabric. That's the fabric that we had as the backing for our quilt earlier in a different colourway. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. This is the last one. Uh, K Facet Quilts in Italy, £22.95. Scaffolding, that one's called. I just think it's they're such beautiful. Look at that one. Right, I've only got a minute left, so let's get the menu for tomorrow before I go anywhere. Uh, it's bright and beautiful tomorrow. Uh, Amy's on tomorrow. Now, the beautiful should have a capital B, shouldn't it? 8 a.m., home sewn home. So she's obviously doing... I don't know who her guest... Oh, she's got her Joe on with her tomorrow. Uh, Joe's doing an elephant, so I'm not quite sure where that one... Oh, that's, there it is. 10 o'clock, Tilda Elephant. 9 o'clock, Cats and Dogs. And 11 o'clock, Cave Show... Oh, another Cave Showcase tomorrow afternoon. Uh, tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock. Thank you so much for your company today. If you've got any questions about anything, just ring the call centre, 0800 112 Remember, you can keep watching on the website. Always go to the website. Worth having a good look around the shop and everything like that. If you've missed anything, you can find it on YouTube. All you need to do is go to YouTube, sewing quarter and the date at the top, and it pops up. Then you can either watch it as it goes along, or if you go to the bottom, you can click on something and go to whichever hour you want to go to. Um, I'm in all weekend. I've got Mandy Shaw on with me on Saturday. I'm really looking forward to that as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've had a brilliant time. Sorry for the few mix-ups, but I'm sure we'll get there. See you. Soon. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for the Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more.